I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk all that in a second with us SCP. I think there's a reason why people weren't brought on to talk Plants, to, to play. You are the better Ryan and the Ryan King. Why did they mention nothing about F2P? Battle Pass? Support a creator? These are things that any multiplayer game needs to succeed. Crazy how far behind the rest oh, of the no. industry we are. Hello? Yo, Flats, what up? What's good? Alright, let's talk. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk, buddy. I, I'm down for this exchange of ideas. Like, I I respect your opinion, man. So I mm -hmm. I just weren't happy with you because we're right now we're all kind of like mm -hmm. interpreting the information, right? Mm -hmm. So you give me your you give me your POV and I'll give you mine. Okay. Uh, so let's go from the start. Uh, this so actually, actually, maybe we should respond to the this the thing that you were just showing me, like you know the okay, yeah, four yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Game. So the yeah, tank's yeah. not doing anything. So, do you want me to go first, or, you, or did you already get it? I, I I was watching, you know, I was watching. I, okay. I, I agree with you on that map. They didn't do shit, right? But it's mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of things to it. First of all, there was like different maps where they were definitely carrying. Like the Toronto map, the Zarya was popping off. Which one was uh, the Toronto was map? Like, uh, the push. It was like 50, like 50 something minutes in. The Zarya is doing all kinds of shit. Um, and they were like, if you remember uh, Mr. X and the devs were like, oh yeah, I love the Zarya with uh, double bubbles. Fucking oh, yeah, off, yeah. man. I want to, I want to. Well, I, they were already steamrolling at that point. I don't know if that that the Zarya is making any plays there. To be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest. Like I know exactly the moment you're okay. talking about okay. when okay. they were like. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, look, we can go back and forth on it. There's there's addendums I want to make to it, and there's, and there's like a bigger picture point I want to make too. But one thing I'd say is, you're first of all just on a practical point of view, you're asking one player compared to the two of every other role to make the impact, right? So you're saying. Oh, none of the tanks made an impact, but that's literally half the players you're watching. Like, you could make the same argument for the supports too. By the way, I don't remember when the Mercy and the Lucio did anything big either. So but I'm, the thing I'm going to say about those is we clearly are watching lower level players, and lower level players are typically much more focused on healing, which means that they're just full pocketing tanks to to be doing their thing. So to be honest with you, the high, the biggest highlight there are only the DPS and the tanks, because I wouldn't expect, you know, what I don't know if this is gold, or silver, plat, whatever it might be, those players would be going for aggressive nades, aggressive sleeps, uh, going for flank plays, whatever it might be. The most we ever saw was a Reddit Lucio, like, trying to go for the Widow, and the Widow couldn't hit the shots, and the Lucio just eventually, like, poked him down after, like, a... 15 second fight like I like I hear what you're saying but I don't think that these players are 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 to that the caliber yeah, where they're you know, gonna know, you know more you know what like gold main tanks are like as well though they afk all the time they're like brain afk on the payload mm -hmm. 24 7 so it's like I don't think you're gonna see a a, a gold Winston or Reinhardt frag out like you see Zarya's do it and that's why we saw on the replay as well uh, correct and but Eva's do it the, the problem though with that is every time they did go make a move they immediately died every single time. Like, and it, and a lot of times it wasn't even like the worst decision. Like they were just trying something like maybe got, got aggressive here or trying to like make some space or whatever. They got punished every single time hard. And those are times that if you, let's say if you played in the Winston, right? If you played in the Winston and you went for the Hanzo, that's a little too isolated to the left and you jump on him and you get bubbled on the way in, or you drop bubble when you get there, etc. you would at least pressure him out. Almost every single time I watched a tank player make an aggressive play, they got punished. And the problem with that is, is what we were told is that they were switching the tanks to be more aggressive. But every time that anyone made an aggressive play here, they got punished. So it's like, it's counterintuitive, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not so fussed about like, I, I hear you, I hear you. Uh, I'm not like, I don't see the 5v5 changes like necessarily better for tanks per se. It's like, oh, it lets them get more aggressive. I think mm -hmm. it's what the bigger picture is. And also, let's get a few things out there. Like, yeah, I, I have no idea why they put gold people playing this game. I think they did a massive disservice, like selling. I have a reason. I think I have a theory for that. But Go ahead, on. give me your theory. My theory for that is that, so you know how they talked about this being a big thing with the Overwatch League, right? Yeah. Um, I, and, and I think the reason, I, what would have been the best way? I think the best way would have been having either content creators or et cetera, like sign NDAs to not talk about it, et cetera. Um, yeah, yeah. to play test it someone like people have people come in that they know that they trust that aren't going to leak it etc and have us play test it or have them play test it i don't even i don't i'm not even saying this i don't even care about being a part of it like because i don't want people spinning the narrative like oh you're just mad you want to be a part of it i don't honestly don't care the problem is though yeah, with yeah. seeing this is 
if let's say you had someone who's a good hit scan player pop in and they play Widow and they just get four picks every single fight and the only way the fights get changed is whether or not who kills the Widow first, whether the whatever wins the duel and then they win from there would be a really, really, really bad look of the game because then you would be saying, oh, it's just Widow duels like the entire time because every time that the, someone picks Widow here, they either mirror it or... Or they lose on these all four of these maps. Well, the team that starts picking Widow first and gets a couple picks immediately just takes the point. And, and yeah, I, I I think you're giving the like I think you're giving the devs too much credit. If they knew that about their own, if they knew how oppressive hit scan were, they would like we'd be in a different like. You don't think they would have figured out that that if you removed a tank? I mean, to be honest with you, you're you kind of got a point there because the tanks is the tanks is how you kind of shut that down right now. You know, like Thank like if there's a widow that's the that's making aggressive peaks and going for supports and etc. The way you kill that is your your tanks jumping. You know, like you send Ball Diva, uh, Winston Zarya, whatever. This is probably the tier of Widowmaker they're used to. Like this, what we got, what we saw a glimpse of is probably what the dev playtest looked like. That's the scariest part of all, though, because that's what brought out Brig. They playtested Brig. They playtested Sig, and we're supposed to sit here and look at this, which is a massive change in the game. Never mind that you know the Overwatch play, League players who just lost their jobs. Or they're 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 going to be gone after this year. Never mind that. Never mind the the synergy of what made Overwatch Overwatch. But we're supposed to just look at it and go, yeah, they playtested it. It looks all right. This looks like goddamn free for all. I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I think one of the biggest arguments against 5v5 is definitely that the devs are probably going to do it like in, they're going to be some incompetence somewhere. But honestly, what I would say is that's that's just that's Overwatch. Like they're going to they're going to they're going to fuck it up somewhere. Right. Like they just they were going to add roll passives. They'd probably fuck that up somewhere. Like they were going to change heroes radically. They were probably going to fuck that up somewhere. I don't think that that's 5v5. Though. That's not exclusive to 5v5. Yes, 5v5 gives them bigger things to change and consider. Mm -hmm. But whatever they changed, they were going to fuck up. The question I would ask is, is 5v5 going to give us something bigger? I think it is. I think... Why? And let me go on my little thing now. So, first of all, I think it, it makes the... Like, I think it makes the game a little bit simpler, which is actually good. I know... I, I'm, a, I'm an advocate for the game being all complex and shit. But where has the game being complex really gotten us? Like, on a viewing POV, it doesn't get us anywhere, right? Like, people find Overwatch difficult to view. From a playing uh, not, POV, people find it wrong, difficult to Not wrong, but that's with any game. That's with any game that's not Call of Duty. True, but it's, it's more. It's more complex, right? Like, the the more we can simplify... I'm not saying make it Give me an example. Kong, Give me an example of another game that's that's less complex, but also the same type of genre that's not Call of Duty. MOBAs are a good example of it. Like, MOBAs I mean, are MOBAs, you have to learn from... You have to learn everything. I know nothing about League. I can't watch League and know it. If, if you've never watched League and you've never played League, you don't understand anything besides maybe what they tell what jungle is and, like, what like what, what a lane does. Like, you just see that they're killing bots and you don't understand, like, why are they killing the players or why are they killing the bots or why are they rotating? There's so much strategy that goes into it. It's insane. The game like Call of Duty is much easier to, to understand because it's just pew, pew, shoot, shoot. But but that that's the same thing with any eSport. Is it not? I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I. I. It's. It's complex. It's not black and white. I think League is complex. It is more watchable. I think Overwatch is really tough. Like I think you could watch League and get the gist, or or Dota, and get the gist better than you could watch Overwatch and get the gist of what's going on. I honestly think I've I've tried this experiment with people who've never played the game, and they literally could not tell me what the fuck is going on. Like I mean, yeah, League, I I used to work in the Overwatch League. I used to grassroots market people Overwatch. Yeah. I mean, and so, I mean, do you want to know what the big thing was between people wanting to learn this game and not? Yeah, go ahead. Whenever I used to teach people about Overwatch, and I did this actually at one time point, I did it at Patriots training camp with like literally a couple like thousands of people kept stopping like and like like watching because like we we basically became kids daycare camp at one point right because like they were like oh yeah like is that Fortnite I was like no they're like okay is it a computer I'll just take my kid right and whatever like parents or whatever would get interested in the game and I talked to them about it. I'd always lose them at the same point. I would lose them when I said the words. How do or they would say, how do you get it? I say you buy it on whether Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, or or uh, Blizzard Battle Launcher on computer. And you'd always see the little twinkle on their eyes disappear because they're like, oh, you're trying to sell me something. It's not free because every major game right now, esport or not, is free. So I hear your argument of like, you know, like it's it's complex to watch, etc. But I don't think it's totally fair that we're not like the biggest esport or the biggest game right now because our player base is isolated behind a paywall of a five year old game with no content. 
oh yeah i know you know i agree with you like you know i agree mm -hmm. but it's not like it's not one isolated thing right it's not like we change one thing and it fixes everything like we know that's what i'm saying it's not black or white there's things that improve the game and make it more appealing and then there's things that make the game less appealing free to play is one of those things that makes it more appealing the mm -hmm. question we're having here is is fire to fly something that potentially makes it more appealing um so i think the viewing esports i mean fair what will make it more I appealing it, I'm, I'm curious genuinely yeah yeah so i think so one thing i've heard a lot of people say already is we'll lose tank synergies I, I i get that we will lose tank synergies it sucks again i'm a tank player i know this i like having a nice tank synergy but tanks are also the thing that have broken overwatch the most like every time overwatch goes out of control it's because there's three tanks in your face or there's double shield in your face and again, that's a balance issue, not more than a tank issue, to be honest with you. Because yeah, you could argue issue. that with Brigida. Brigida broke the game for two years as a support. Like the DPS role went yeah. non existent. It is a balance issue, but it's disproportionately tanks that fall into this place, right? Like it's, dis it's, it's disproportionately tanks that usually break it. Because it's like, again, it comes down a little bit to the incompetence of the devs. So I understand, like, it's not black and white. You could argue, you could, an argument could be made that the devs could just balance it better. But I think it simplifies mm -hmm. the balancing job for them, right? There's one less shieldy, protecty tank, and that makes the game simpler. Again, I think it simplifies the game, and that's again, it's better for tanks or roles. Well, when you're thinking gold, like what we saw is basically what Overwatch would be like, right? Gold players, mm -hmm. and I think it makes the game simpler for them. Like, okay, it's more deathmatchy, and we don't necessarily have the absolute complexity that Overwatch has now. But is that really a bad thing, considering? Again, where has the complexity of Overwatch really gotten us? I think it just it just creates barriers that, that uh, we can kind of take down a little bit by so, making it 5v5. So you're saying the benefit is that it's dumbed down? A little bit. I wouldn't put it so harshly, but yes, a simpler game. I think dumbed down is a sort of pejorative way of looking at it. It's a simpler game, a little bit simpler. It's not like a dumb game, clearly. It's still, you saw the tanks getting punished, hard punished. And one thing I want to add on that is it's more of an adaptation for them compared to the other players in the lobby. Remember that as well. Like when you go down to like any probably tank player would do worse in that scenario because they're just not used to it yet. They mm -hmm. need to get time to used to it to, to be playing with just on their own, right? They're basically solo tanking. So of course well, they're going to play disproportionately worse. Well, I mean, I would, or I would probably, I mean, I don't know either of these players, but I'm sure they're playing their pocket picks. We saw more Ryan and Winston than any other any other heroes at all, like from the two tank players. Now, maybe that's because that's they, they, they thought of as the They couldn't play Sigma and Orisa, right? They couldn't play Sigma and Orisa. Like, they didn't want them to play Sigma and Orisa. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure that there could have been a reason behind, you know, not playing it, um, of course. But, but kind of like, how do I put this? Taking away and dumbing down, and I know you want to say, like, you know, like making it simpler, the game, in my opinion, it, it is dumbing it down a little bit because. Uh, honestly, the, the, the balance of the game has gotten a lot better and you, and you know, what kind of got it better was the community saying, Hey, we need more aggressive balance patches more often. It took us three and a half years to get it in the past six months or so. We got more aggressive and more, uh, more, uh, more aggressive, but more like, uh, more frequent patches and the game feels good. Like right now, to be honest with you, I feel like we're a little, we took a small step back from where we were the previous patch, but it's still light years ahead of where we were before. We had that great meta back in October. I know Sam, you know, never likes to let that one go. He loved that meta. And then we, <laughs> yeah, we, we just had the, all these random buffs and nerfs that ruined it for the next two months. And then we kind of went back to where we were. And I think that what kind of brought us back is everyone being like, Hey, no, no, that was good. Like, let's keep doing what we were doing there. So it, I want to I want to have some faith and say that the balance team has actually done a great job recently of, of kind of bringing it back. Yeah, there's problems like lamp, etc. But but taking away a whole complexity and dynamic of the game to make it more deathmatchy, I you're kind of losing like a lot of the appeal of Overwatch at that point. Like, what's even the point of even having objectives and stuff if you're just gonna play deathmatch and free for all anymore? Because what separates Overwatch from other games, in my opinion, at the highest level, is if you take the best Overwatch DPS player and the worst Overwatch League D DPS player, the difference in their mechanical skill is probably very minuscule at all. Like they're 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 on somewhat of the same level. Yes, one will be better, but what really separates them is their positioning, their aggressive 
aggressiveness, their team play, their like what whatever they use, their 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 strategy, like their team backs them up. Whatever it is that makes them have the space that they need to look as good as they do, or have the mechanical prowess that they use to pop off. The differences aren't that big in the mechanical skill department. It's all these other factors, and that's what makes Overwatch and Overwatch League so incredible to watch, and what makes players so valuable. What this is is just mechanical duels. Uh, are 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 much more valued than anything, and I I think that's that's kind of wrong in a way, because that's never what Overwatch has been, and and you can say like oh like you know maybe it's a new way to go, but yeah but what if it's a new way to go? Why like what's the what's the benefit of going that direction just to see what happens? What happens when it's ass and everyone's like shit like that was a terrible idea. There is no going back. We've already made all these strides to make things so much better, and we think we can keep improving on it. And the hype for Overwatch Two has been insane because we're like we've been actually on this good track. We can't wait for free to play. We can't wait for all the new players to come in. We can't wait for all these new heroes. We can't wait for for all these new possibilities. But the new possibilities was actually losing something like. Like, do you get what I mean? It's like you 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 took something away instead of adding stuff. And I feel like that's probably the worst sign that could have been given at all. Yeah, I mean, I hear you, but that same argument could have been made for going to Roblox. Like people made the same argument Would for Roblox. Oh well. Oh, it's like losing the complexity of the game. Like I can't flex now. I can't I have to be locked into a role. But you gain I can't stability. Play as many different comps I want. Well, yeah, the, the argument here is you gain accessibility. Yeah, you because the game, community thought 222 was the way the game should be played and thought that GOATS was oppressive because it destroyed the DPS role and it made the support role too strong and it made the tank role have its its prevalence come out because of how the high tanky health pools were. And people understood that that was bad for the game, right? Well, people weren't adamant that it had to be 222. Yes, people hated GOATS, but people, people played quad tank for ages and people didn't mind it. Like... Envious and Rogue were winning games with like three tanks or three DPS all the time. So it wasn't like it wasn't that hard set that the community was like, we need two two two. Or I think I think two 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 was the way people voted. What would you have thought they voted for? One 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 three flex. I don't know if there was a cons- I don't know if there was a consensus. That's the thing. Like I'm not. I'm saying there wasn't necessarily a consensus. Two 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 makes the most sense, right? You just balance each of the roles two two two. Give them each two two two. But I don't think there was a consensus where everyone was like, it has to be two two two, right? And I think like. You could make an argument that now people complain about tank diff too much. Like the number of people who are like, oh, it's tank diff every game. I mean, tank this is going to make it 100 times tank. worse. Arguably, again, it depends on how it comes out. It depends on how it comes out. You could say in theory, but also if there's less reliance on tanks, then you don't have to get tank diff well, every game. Right? Well, yeah, like then, then you make tank the- just not fun for nobody. Again, it, it depends on execution. I, th- I think you're, you're kind of taking it to the uh, sort of disaster degree. And I don't blame you for going there because... Overwatch has often made really crappy mistakes. I'm saying if they do it right, though, like imagine for a minute they do it right. Like let's say they balance it right, and tank is a a, a role where as an individual you still feel impactful, but now there's not as much pressure. Like think now, like as Reinhardt, if you're playing in like fucking diamond and and you need to rotate to the high ground properly, but no one comes with you, boom, game over. Like tank diff, tank diff. But like okay, well, let's say oh, now is a world where people. So are you're talking relaxed. toxicity now? No, I'm just saying that like that's that's not even like. In a toxicity he, level, it genuinely is tank diff. Like if you don't rotate right, it genuinely is tank diff. You want to take that right? to the next level. That's, that's it's it's not good. Again, I'm saying if the responsibility on the main tank gets less mm-hmm. because their role is not necessarily as needed. Like if if basically people don't play in a way that's reliant on shields all the time, they won't be able to blame their tank all the time. Uh, it's gonna. Uh, no, I no, I hundred percent, like thousand percent disagree with that because you know why? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is you're now gonna have one tank. One tank will be the meta tank, whatever it is. Maybe there'll be two if you're lucky. So then, what happens when you get in a game? where you, the meta tanks at the moment are Sigma and Ryan, and your your tank picks Hog, and they are not swapping Hog, or they pick Ball, and they're not swapping Ball, or they pick Diva, and they're not swapping Diva. All of a sudden now, you have the ultimate tank diff. You have nothing else to work with. You don't have another option. You don't have any other thing to, to play around, no other synergy. You are the most trapped person, and that there's two ways that goes. The person who's not swapping is now being 
is is turning into the ultimate scapegoat. It's going to be flame the entire game, ask to swap. Even if they actually are good at their hero, now now trust me, I'm going to get there in a second. They they could be amazing at their hero and they're playing that what they're good at, but they need to be playing a different hero and they're not swapping, even though they know that they, if they play the other hero, they're going to play like ass. They don't swap. Now you have both teams going report this guy, report this guy. He's awful. He won't swap. So you have targeting of not only the tank players, you have targeting of whoever it is for not playing what they want you to play. Tank players have always said that they feel very, very constricted in Overwatch because people will always tell you what to play, but you can't tell them what to play because DPS is much more flexible. Support is less flexible, but still kind of flexible. Tank, though, if you play certain maps and certain metas, you must play those heroes or you will lose, especially in higher ranks. Now, if you're talking about in lower ranks, people will mimic that and they will see that those tanks are the best tanks. And if you don't pick those, people will get very, very, very fucking upset. Now, to take that point of what I was saying before, what about the people that were very, very good at that other tank? I'm glad you brought that up. People like myself that are main tanks or people that are off tanks have spent the last four years or so you know, making those roles. Even the best flex players out there, I used to like think of like Calvin. Calvin, Inbox Calvin used to like, he used to play every role to like top tier, like one of the best players I've ever seen like that could play everything. Whenever he played main tank, he looked like a plat. I'm sorry. Like, I'd watch him play Winston and stuff, and there was a time where he would try to learn how to play Winston and Ryan for a month, and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen because he just couldn't do it because the way main tanks play and the way off tanks play are very, very different. And there's probably five players in the entire Overwatch community that can play both main tanks and off tanks at the highest absolute level. Otherwise, you see that they hunt, they they definitely slip. They're just not programmed. When I watch Emong play Ryan, I kind of, like, giggle to myself because he's very fucking smart, and he's, like, and he sometimes comes up with shit when I'm playing main tank of that I never really would have thought of that work but when he plays main tank sometimes he just stands there AFK and dies and I laugh and it's because we're just the way those two heroes are played and those two roles are played are so different that you have to have a completely different approach to the game it's why DPS players approach the game different than tank players and support players play different than tank players and, and DPS players and etc and now what the problem is with one tank one tank comes in. Let's say you get high rank or you let's say you, you get a huge boost to your SR, right? Let's say you go up 800 SR because Winston becomes meta and Winston's your best hero. What happens when the next week comes by or whatever and the next best tank then becomes Roadhog and your Roadhog is ass and you fall 800 SR. Let's say you're 4,500 but your Roadhog's like 35 so you fall like to like 39. You go through all those games getting flamed to absolute hell for either not swapping or being ass on hog the whole time god damn game you make the game bad for your teammates you, the games are bad for you because they're flaming the shit out of you but on top of that too you're not good at those heroes there is nothing to back you up there is no other person to be like oh hey i'm not a good main tank are you a main tank and that other person might be like, uh, I might be a little bit better of a main tank than you are. And then they play main tank and you play off tank and people kind of figure it out and go through it. But the problem with one tank is, is you are literally matchmaker diff, quote unquote, where you either got somebody that knows how to play what the best tanks are right now or you didn't. And then if you're someone like me, if I am really only good at Winston, Ryan, Orissa and a little bit of ball here and there. If it becomes a Roadhog meta, am I not allowed to play the game anymore because I'm going to throw people's games? And on the other level, let's say you're someone who's like a diamond player, right? You're a diamond player that climbed up to low masters. All of a sudden, your hero is no longer meta, and you and you start losing every game in a row. How fun is that for you? It sounds like shit. You know? And well, it, it just it, it's you can't work on those things anymore. You know? It's so different. Like, I appreciate your POV, but I think you're taking it to the worst degree. And in, in sort of each of these examples, I think you're taking it to like the absolute worst disaster scenario. That's that's assuming Overwatch 2 plays like Overwatch 1. It, patently, it won't. And they clearly don't want it to play like Overwatch 1. They, I, in, the, in their ideal version, they want it to play like a completely different game in that sense. It'll still be the core Overwatch experience, whatever we might individually define that as. But they're trying to create a game where that doesn't happen, where you don't get tank diffed all the time, where there's theoretically enough viable play styles to play tank with that it doesn't matter what tank you're picking or there's a larger range of tanks you can pick from. I mean, we get we get entrenched quite a lot because of the fact that tanks, you know, we're saying tank synergies being lost is a bad thing. You can also make the argument it's a good thing because a lot of the reason that tanks get locked in the way they are is because tank synergies are so strong. It's because if you've got the Winston, the bubble on top of him, vastly increases what he can do in a certain comp, right? It completely changes whether he can take a brig on or not. And that 
again, that sometimes hard forces because you might have a Winston player and then your off tank is a hog player. And I was like, well, GG, I can't play this comp now. And this comp falls apart because you didn't play off tank. What they're trying to go for is a world where the individual tank is not so important as much as just having that guy there. Do you feel me? That's, that's what I think they're trying to go for. I think the optimistic scenario is they create a world where you have multiple... I think basically, yes, you could make an argument they're trying to make tanks a little bit closer to DPS. But again, I don't think that's a bad thing inherently. It, it, it creates role transferability, which encourages people to like flex between roles. But also, it then allows tanks to kind of interchange a little bit easier. Right now, when tanks are like so entrenched in what they do, like what an Orisa does and what a Winston does is so unique that if one is meta and the other is not not playing that as a complete throw. But if they are a little bit more similar to each other, if they kind of occupy the same job, which is, let's say, a slightly beefier dude who's still out there to get kills, that makes it easier to actually change which tank you're playing. And then you don't have to get hard forced into this is it or not. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, but here's my big problem. You're trying to create yeah, something right. that doesn't exist with the idea that there's a utopia on the other side using the building blocks of something that currently exists that has nothing to do with that. It's like building a new house using the bricks from an old house and expecting it to be some completely different building. It really won't be. I mean, again, I, I can appreciate why you feel that way. I, I don't think anyone can blame you for not having a lot of faith in the devs. I think, I think this is good, though. I, I think this could be good anyways. It, it might be disastrous, and we might all look back and be like, well, goddamn, that was a terrible decision. I think it could be really good. And again, again I think there's things that there's gain. It, you got to remember, they're trying to go for as big an audience as they can. And they feel making tanks simpler and not having tanks have to do a very specific job will make it simpler. It's not like we have a rampant amount of tank players now. Mm -hmm. Nobody's rushing to play tank right now. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking, well, let's change up how tank works. Let's make more people want to play tank. And maybe the game will be more popular. You know, that's their POV, and I, I can, I can. Oh, I hundred percent agree. I hundred percent agree that that's a good way to, to a good thing to try to do. But this isn't the I'm way. This is not the way to do it. This is the wrong way to do it. So I agree that hundred percent, like that is a good thing, good thing to be trying to accomplish. But this is not the way to do it. And the reason for that, I, I think. Go sorry, ahead. I was just gonna explain like why I think that. The reason for that, no, go. Is because. What are the, the core things that make tank not fun right now are part of those, you know, being stuck in that role. You can't pick anything else. Um, you have to play those certain heroes. And if you're not good at those certain heroes, you're not going to play in tank or you're not probably going to get flamed for the whole game. And on top of that, too, you know, there's no big reward system. When you play, you know, Widow and you hit a headshot, you get that huge, that big clink. You know, someone dies and, like, everyone notices, like, oh, you got two picks. That's huge. Let's go. You play Ryan and you, and you pin their Ryan and he's one HP and then you swing on him once and then you go to finish him off and then, you know, uh, the on the Zen in the back shot one orb at him and got the kill. It's like you didn't even do anything. Like nobody even knows all the work you just did. And it's like it's kind of like an underappreciated, thankless role. And that's what kind of makes tank much less fun than the other roles, in my opinion. Now, what you're doing in this is trying to remove the first problem. You know where you're stuck in the certain roles. But I don't one. I don't think that doing this is going to do that. I think there will always develop to be a meta, or always develop to be best picks, or always develop to be et cetera. What is what are the best heroes to pick in that certain situation? And there's only two ways to do it. There's one you have to giga chad buff the tank so it's fun to play, and that you know you don't die on cooldown. Or B, you keep it very fucking weak. And at that problem, then nobody has fun because you're not being able to make any plays. And like what we just saw today, the tank players every time they tried to make an aggressive play just blew up on cooldown like they just they had to afk and wait till somebody else did something that's not fun and anyone who thinks that's fun i don't think actually knows how to play tank and 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 and, and i don't think there's many people that have fun with that to say the very least so there's the big problems sorry one of my lawyers is really loud um it threw me off uh shit what was i saying um yeah it it, it it's it's the wrong way of going about you know like how to solve the problems because we all agree what some of the problems are but this is this is instead of hey this is a problem it's like okay let's take away this and see what happens and maybe we can like play with it a little bit it's like why not add to the experience instead of taking away something from the experience or taking away something that people enjoy or something that you know made overwatch overwatch etc or you know it it we we've waited what 
a whole year, two years at this point almost to 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 really find out stuff about Overwatch 2 and really find out like the PvP that we've all loved and we all came into this game. And what they've told us is like, nah, you're, we're actually gonna take this. We're actually gonna take one of the, these roles away, uh, and we'll figure it out. Like it, it'll work. And it's like, that's kind of where we're at is like, I'm sure they'll figure it out. And it's like, that's really what we're going to go with. We're going to take away something we enjoy and we've all talked about enjoying and say that, hey, you know, we wish that we could have more of if there was more players with a player base like free to play could bring those players in and have some, you know, shorter queues, et cetera, and have stuff that could improve and fix some of our issues instead of taking away something we enjoy and, and, and see what we can work with. It's not worth that wait. Like I think it's like you you've kind of you, you had these hopes, you had these aspirations, all this stuff, and it just did not deliver. You know. I'll tell you what it is, buddy. I think I think I can sum it up what I think is going on. You know, you're you're right that we the Overwatch community have asked for certain things, we don't get them. What's the the I think the impasse between you and what's what we've seen? They're not they're not here to ask our opinion. That's the whole point. They're not targeting us. You've kind of got it backwards. This isn't for us. This is for the people who don't play Overwatch. Overwatch 2 is for the people who don't currently play Overwatch. They're not here to make the people who played Overwatch 1 happy. They're here to make the people who looked at Overwatch 1 and said, we don't want to play that game. And they were like, let's get those guys into this game. Like, we might play Overwatch, love the tank synergies, love the strategy, love the complexity, love this, that, the other. It's not about us. It's about the people who looked at Overwatch and were like, nah, I'll pass for a different game. And on to the point about like, uh, you know, losing all the complexity and, you know, feels really frustrating when you're playing tank and you're hard locked. Again, I think the, the situation of that is basically, it's because tanks are so unique. Like I said, Thanks. it's because each Good tank is so Max. unique to each other. It's That's the same for supports in many ways. I think like screen. DPS has always had traditionally the most flexibility and like you can pick a, a larger pool of heroes, just as large a DPS pool to begin with. Thank but you. you can usually flex the DPS is a little bit easier. It's because many DPS can do roughly the same thing. And, and I think that's why they're trying to, that's how they're trying to address the tank thing. They're trying to make it so that tanks do roughly the same thing. And that way they're less entrenched. And I think that's, that's the approach they're taking. I think that's why 5v5 can work. Because they're trying to fix that core issue of tanks get hard locked because it's too unique what each tank does. So if you take that away... Yes, it, it, it hurts us, the core audience, because we love this game as is, but it makes the game more appealing overall because it makes the role more accessible and it makes the experience more accessible to people. I am all. We are the dedicated loyal okay. player base. Fair. Catering to new players Here's the thing. Who will leave after a the first thing you said is very old corporate is and you're probably actually onto something with it, but it's wrong. And the reason why it's wrong oh, no, is I'm because... Saying, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, you go ahead. The reason why it's wrong is because... And, and I knew this because I've worked in corporate. People always want to find new, uh, like new customers, etc. That's why there was that problem when, when you know, people were going on the launcher and stuff. And there was a lot of new streamers that nobody had ever heard of that don't really play Overwatch. And there was a time about a year ago where a lot of people got mad and were like, why is there seven streamers that don't even play this game when X, Y, Z people haven't, aren't, aren't, on the, aren't, on the, aren't on the list? Like that deserve it. Like they stream your game every day for four, five, six, seven, ten hours a day, right? And you're leaving them out in the cold. From a business perspective, it's the right decision for Blizzard because they're quote unquote seeing a new audience with it. But the reason why it's the wrong decision here is because Overwatch's core is still not going to change with what these changes are. So it's just going to make it more difficult. And people outside of Overwatch know what Overwatch is about. Overwatch's play, original player base was absolutely fucking massive. And the people there's probably more people than not that have played Overwatch at some point in their lives, right? And... They're, when they come and play this game, they're not going to magically think that the tank role was redefined or something. They're just going to try to play it, and they're not going to know how to play it, and they're just going to die on cooldown. Because what I'm watching is this game is much harder to play at this point, and the tank role is going to be much less impactful, and you're just going to die on cooldown anyway. So you're saying all these brand new players are going to come in and have the fucking time of their lives. No, they're not. They're going to come in and go, this is ass. I'm going to just play DPS. So those people that they're, they're isolating, those people that they don't want to cater to, are the same people that told them that Brig was a problem. The 
the same people that told them that hey we need to have more aggressive balance patches hey like people that genuinely care have always wanted the best for the game and the community and are here that are every single day your original your original base your base you build off of and there's one key thing in business you you don't have to always cater to your your base but you don't piss them off because pissing off your base is like the, is like pulling up the foundation of a house. If you ever hit the foundation of a house with a hammer, that shit's hard as fuck. That shit doesn't move. You hit a wall with a hammer, that shit crumples. But if you hit that foundation hard enough, that house is coming down. And that's kind of where we're at right now, whereas you're hitting that foundation really goddamn hard, and you're going to try to build a house on no foundation, where, you know... You're, you're completely uprooting your entire player base right now, and you're hoping all these new players come in. These new players have probably played your game at some point, and they're just not crazy about it, or they might enjoy it, and they might stick around for a little while. What's going to keep Overwatch players playing is going to be content. It's going to be streamers. It's going to be stuff for them to do. It's going to have to It's gonna have to be lively. It's not fucking tanks being enjoyable. It has to be that there's new players for something to do. That's what keeps players playing Overwatch. That's what people makes want people play the game. It's not this this magic world where where you only have one Reinhardt with 1200 HP and he stands at the choke for a little while, but he gets two fire strikes. Like like that that ain't it. That ain't it. Like it, it really isn't. And and people have the right to be really mad about this because yes, we understand that you know they want to reach new players and you want to reach a new base and etc. And and we all want that together. That benefits everyone. It it benefits the Overwatch League. It benefits content creators. It benefits the player base. And and, and it benefits the dev team. The oh, and Blizzard itself because they make more money for content creators. We have more of an audience for the Overwatch League. They have more viewers and more people that play the game because people who watch esports are more inclined to watch esports of a game they play because I'm not gonna watch League of Legends because I'm not gonna watch League of Legends because I don't understand League of Legends. I've never played League of Legends before. But if I've played CSGO, I'm more likely to watch some CSGO because I've played the game and I kind of have a decent understanding of it. You want to have more people play your game and as a player base, your cues are faster. Everybody's winning, but why piss them off and have this terrible like, like idea of like, oh no, like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna t change the experience t completely, um, so that you don't have to deal with this this other problem where tanks are diffing every game. But but there's really only two ways that that ends. It either means that the tanks are so strong that they're fun to play and they get that power trip, or B they're so weak they're AFK half the time, which like these guys were. And then they don't have fun at all, and people don't want to play it anyways, you know? Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. I mean, again... Sorry, I'm just throwing a lot at you, you know? I'm just kind of... No, wanna, no, yeah. I, I want to try and, I wanna try and remember all the, all the kind of points you made and kind of... I'd be impressed if you did, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I think on the first I point, you know, fire. about it being wrong. Oh, yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's, it's like, morally, you might say, yeah, it's wrong, and like, fuck this. And you might even say, oh, from a business perspective, you're right, like, don't piss off your core. But they're not seeing it like they don't see it that way. They they don't see it as pissing off their core because obviously we're upset. We're tank like you're a tank player. You're upset. Your community's upset. I always got to be trying cognizant of like not being in an echo chamber, right? Like mm -hmm. the major the the casual the, the the typical Overwatch player doesn't give a fuck about any of us. Like really, they're mm -hmm. just like a dude who plays quick play and like pops in and out. Mm -hmm. So they do they care like if the game feels fun, they don't care, right? They they don't care if like there's five tanks to excite. They ultimately care the game is fun. Now, if 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 the if they if the devs feel this is going to make the game fun and they they make they think it's going to make the game accessible, so that's their POV first and foremost, mm -hmm. right? Um, shit, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to I'm trying to feed back. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, fuck, I had good points as well. Fuck. <laughs> um, all good, dude. Take your time. Oh, give me a sec, bro. Give me a sec. I can rant again if it helps you. I don't know if that helps. Yeah, give me a little quick summary of the points you made. I want to I wanna try and feedback on each of them. You don't want to... You you, disrupting your base this much, like, you're literally killing off a roll. Never yeah, mind. Okay, okay, never, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so the way they see it... Sorry, just to feedback on that point. So the way they see it is, who are they even disrupting? Tank is the, is the least populated role, right? They're saying, like, well, who, who are we disrupting? If we, if we remove one tank from the game, it's not like there's a bunch of them running around. We're making other, other roles happier, and the other roles are the ones who play. But here's the thing, though. Overwatch has always been a synergistic game. Losing one tank is going to change the entire experience of the game, whether the player base knows it or not. It always has, and you can tell by any game you play. Do this, and you're, and I'm not saying like do this, like an experiment, quote unquote, do this. Have a Reinhardt pin a DPS off the map. Who's winning that fight? 5v5. 99 times out of 100. 
the team that has both their tank players alive is going to win that fight. Now, the reason for that is tanks have always been strong, you know, like that core keeps you there. But here's the thing, though. You still have that other tank to lean on. So let's say your Zarya trades with their Hanzo. Okay. You still have your Rhine to lean on. And your Rhine is one of the most pivotal parts of that comp to keep it alive. Now what happens when you don't have that second tank? You only have the one feeder. And he plays Hog, he plays Ball, he plays Pin Only Rhine. You that are going to feel a level of helplessness you have no idea yeah, but again, ever existed. We, we we spoke about it. this is the tank centric world that we're currently in though that's what i'm saying they don't want it but to that's be a not going to change world. with one tank if anything it'll be worse because then you don't have a second tank to back you up you don't have a second tank to work on you don't have a second tank to be like okay i can play this and help him keep him alive or i can play this and commit with him and see what we can do you have one guy and having one tank is very different than having two tanks having two tanks means that you have something to work with one tank means that you have someone against you because it's you versus them it's only their fault because because it's only one of them. There's nobody else's fault it could be. You're talking again, level think, you're talking about people getting really fucking angry at that point where it's only that guy's fault. Yeah, but again, I think they're trying to create a world where it doesn't they they're basically trying to create a world where the tank is a DP another DPS, like a glorified DPS. So it doesn't really matter if they're dead or alive. Like they're just another one of the five players. That's what they want. I think the feel they want is that all the five players are basically just one of five players. Yeah, they have a little bit of uniqueness to them. Can I ask just you a question? Five players. Yeah, right. go ahead. Do you remember when Blizzard said they want to have every hero viable in every situation? Yeah, Pepe got... How'd that go? Usual. Go ahead. Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean, but they've made, like, that argument could be made for anything, Flash. They make mistakes all the time because they made, like, but, just because but, they made but, one but, fuck but, up. But that was their philosophy. They were, they were buffing and nerfing things so they could be used in every single situation. Jeff himself said that they want to make every hero viable on every map. What they found out was after three and a half to four years, that's not totally possible. So you know what we have now? Other than the Sim 1 tricks who are very good, you have Sim on, like, on, on Garden. You play Sim on Garden, and Sim is goddamn strong on Li Zhang, right? Like, you, you, play, you can play it on all three points if you you want there's two points where it's very very strong there's times that you can you can play that hero and it's one of the best heroes in the game but then if you play it on havana you might as well be afk and there's a reason for that because that's how the hero is designed it's always worked like that every hero in overwatch is map dependent it's team comp dependent that's how the game has been played so again this is kind of go back to what i was talking about before is you're trying to build a new house with the same bricks of an old house and expecting it to be a different house. Like, it might look a little different, but it ain't going to be a different house. It's not going to be stronger. If anything, it'll be weaker because you've already do, you, you took apart the other one. You might have lost some pieces along the way. Like, you, it's not something yeah, that can happen it, like that. But the difference is there. You're asking for something that's, like, incredibly difficult to achieve. To make every hero viable on every map is incredibly different to, difficult to achieve because it basically requires... I mean, it's impossible. How is it any different? It requires such a balance. Because this one is like, to make tanks like DPS is actually not that hard. I mean, if you, you could, theoretically, you could just remove the tank roll and you could have one more slot and it'd just be like three DPS. So you could so make that you, happen. Yeah, just so then you just remove the tank roll entirely? That that literally wouldn't I'm happen. I'm saying you could just do that. I'm saying you could just do that. So it's not actually that difficult. To okay, just then we, make could, we could just add another like tank DPS. back and solve the problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we could say what ifs all day long. But tanks create the problem. That's what we're saying. Like, tanks are too unique. They make too many problems by being so unique. Right, they they're not like DPS players. Like DPS are like inter like Ash. Our support's not a problem. They're, they're support supports at one point was the strongest too. role in the game by far. When supports were over usually, over buffed, usually only when they enable tanks though, right? Like it's no, like supports at one point were absolutely the strongest in the in the in the role. When when Ben when Zen had thirty percent discord buff, Ana got multiple nerfs. Bap when he was at his strongest, when he had his when his when his his shift heal healed him and all of his teammates for one hundred and seventy five HP. Lamp was at its absolute strongest at the time. His his window was still on cooldown. It wasn't garage window, but it was at the time. It was like basically on cooldown. Um, Mercy was was actually was very good at the time. Brig was outstandingly strong with Zen. Like like there were so many comps that 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 support dominated. Like there was actually unironically games that were support diff very very quickly. 
and very, very strong. Support has just as many problems as tank does. The only reason you don't see them is because the tank, the supports aren't typically on the kill feed. You typically see the tanks on the kill feed over supports on the kill feed, and they're much more in your face. It's much easier and like to see that they're a problem. But to be honest with you, do you know how many times a support? Do you know how many times where I dove an Ana who's one HP, and I went like I was literally coming down to finish him, and then three armor packs flew past my head, and they were 150 HP, and they naded me and killed me like. Like it was, it was, there was shit like that all the time where it was just outrageously strong. So you can't sit there and say that tanks are the only problem. Yes, tanks. They're not the only problem. No, of course but, not. But at that of point, you not. can't solve it then. They're the disproportionate problem, though. That's the that's no, they're the they're problem the you can see. Problem. They're the bigger problem. Come on, like, l l let's be honest. Like, yeah, yeah. Because is, supports is got nerfed. They got nerfed. And guess what? Tanks are getting, have got the same treatment. And here we are right now in a very balanced meta. What did we see in Overwatch League? We saw everything. We saw double shield. We saw ball comps. We saw dive. We saw rush. We saw everything. That is literally the epitome of everything getting close to being balanced on some level. Yes, there's stuff like the Baplam that's frustrating, frustrating yeah. versus balanced, but we saw all of it. So how, how can we say that we haven't made all this progress where it's not that oppressive? Why does nobody play tank then, Flats? Because it's not fun, and being fun, a fun role is much different. Exactly, it's about being fun. And That's what makes what it fun, want. though? The game to be fun. Being able to play what you want, they which want this won't be, do. Yeah. Playing what you want, this won't do it. DPS it will not. This will not DPS do it. There will always be meta in every single game. Every competitive game ever in history has had meta. It does not matter. Like, of if, course, if yeah, so, of you course. will not get to play the fun tank. That will that will never work because tank will always be tank. Even in this, it does not work. Like even in this, like it's you, it, not about being the fun tank. They're gonna make tanks unilaterally. Ideally, again, it's remember it's you're we're talking. You're basically you're talking worst case scenario. I'm that's not worst case scenario. That's case fact. Scenario. Tank's not fun. Well, tank is on. Tank is unfun now. Yeah. So they're trying yes. to make it fun. Yeah, but but on the basis of oh, it'll just happen. But but they've been trying that for five years and it's never happened. So how is this gonna magically make it happen? It's not. Because it, because it's a radical shift. Right? It's a much like just changing the balance is completely different to having one less tank. So again, changing the emphasis, making him like a DPS, making it so that the burden isn't always on the tank to shield and protect and enable everyone to the right positions. But that's everyone what the that's the player base not understanding how to play it. How is that going to change with the changes of the tank? I mean, it's been it's been five years and they never understood. Like, yeah. What, what, how much longer do they? That's need? why you balance from the top down, not from the ground up. Yeah. Again, for a competitive esport, this isn't that. They're not trying to make this a competitive esport. They're trying to make this a game people play. I wouldn't say Overwatch is not a competitive esport. I wouldn't say it. No, uh, yeah, I, it yeah we now. all meme it and shit, this, but there's I'm a reason. I'm, I'm saying it. Yeah, it is now, but they don't want it to be. That's what I'm saying. This, as in what the changes they're making. Well, they literally making it went out and made the Overwatch League themselves. Like, of course they want it. Yeah, they don't yeah, do a great job with Overwatch it, League, but they want their it. Main priority, their main priority is to get more players. Their main priority isn't to make Overwatch the development more team I mean, of, of the game. Yes. Yeah, sure. But that's not the balance team. That's those are different. Yeah, but these are the guys making the changes. That's what I'm saying. The development team want to make the game like they don't they don't necessarily have the same concerns as you or I. Like I want the game to be as competitive and, and complex as possible, but that's not what the direction of this is all about. So so when you're so angry, what, the, what you're direction angry is this? Power trip fun? Because then that they ain't gonna be that. We don't know. We haven't even had our hands on it yet. How do you know that? I mean, I think if anything, the fact that no pro players, no streamers, no high level players were invited to try this when they showed it off, when all of these problems were going to be talked about, is an indicator that there that there's some type of fear to be had. I think they're just. Uh, I think that's more just you know you know Blizzard like they like to keep everything private. They don't like getting involved with content creators. I think that's more that is. I don't think again if they or, you did you play original Overwatch beta? Right, because I didn't no, I just didn't. by chance. So no, original didn't. Overwatch beta, there was actually major issues with the core gameplay that was that were solved before the game got released because of the beta with things that they didn't think were going to be problems. Did you like? Do I'm, you, again, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm, I, I agree with you. If we, if pros had played, they would have definitely broken this. And that's mm -hmm. exactly why I would have wanted to see pros play this. What I'm saying is the reason they... If, do you think they had enough foresight to know, oh, the pros are going to break this, so let's not let them play. The reason they did it is... I'm saying the reason they did it 99% is because they just didn't want to get people to have access to stuff that they don't want to They don't want them to leak. Like, it's very neutered what we got to see. So they just probably didn't want us to leak anything. I, 
Listen, like that's like, likelihood. Why like I hate to say it, people. but I feel like a lot of it is like probably's and maybes versus what is actually happening. And that's why I feel like the whole like, oh, be open to it. And like, you know, like this could happen doesn't hold weight because we have five years of experience of showing what's actually happening and showing how the game has progressed as proof to back that this is not a good idea as opposed to, I hate to say, wishful thinking. I don't necessarily agree with that sentiment. Like we haven't had five years of trying two, 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 no, two, uh, five v five. We've had five years of trying six, six v six, and years of trying two v two, 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 and we kind of you could make the argument like, where's that got us? Whereas at least five v five was a different direction. Yeah, but but just like, moving, moving here doesn't evidence. mean anything. We've had we no content for two years. Like make some content evidence. for the game and see what happens. Yeah, again, they're not exclusive, right? Again, when you were kind of going on about how the game could be better, like, again, you, you've, we've been on that debate. We all agreed we want free to play. We think constant content is the best thing for a game. Right. Okay, Blizzard doesn't want to hear us out. But they're not mutually exclusive. They can give us constant content and make the game maybe more accessible and more fun and, you know, do and better maybe, stuff with And maybe, players. but likely not, in my opinion. Yeah, so I mean, if they're not going to up their time, if they're not going to up their uh, relationship with content creators, if they're not going to change their model and not give us more content, at least they could make a game that's more uh, enjoyable by more people. I don't think it's going to make more people enjoy it. There's nothing changing about the tank role other than the fact that there's only one. There's nothing else really changing. There's a like lot changing. They, they just said, like, they don't want there to be, they only want tanks to have CCs. They don't want tanks to give ult charge because they don't want them to be batteries. Like, that's already a lot of changes. They're changing each of the tanks that they're changing to try and make them more individually sustainable. Those don't, those don't fall, solve so the key they're changing issue. a lot of things. Wasn't the key issue for tanks is they're not fun? How does, how does not giving more ult charge yeah. not make it more fun? Well, that's not e exclusive to them being not more fun. But the point is, if they're more self-reliable, more dps -y, can go and secure kills for themselves, that, quote-unquote, makes them more fun. That's what they're trying to do. But they don't. The, we saw mean? nothing today that supports that argument. Zero. I, I don't. I don't think we can really go. I think this is what I, mean. I, I agree that they did a huge disservice to let these Papagas play. But like, I don't think that's the be all and end. I'm like, talking in facts. Really that's it. Like I'm talking like we have seen nothing. What we saw was this new thing. That this new game mode. This new five v five. They want to try, but we saw nothing else with it. We saw nothing to prove or to back anything that's being said. Like it's just not there. Well, what, what, how are they supposed to prove that this is more fun? I mean, like, they, like, it, it, did either of the tanks even play this game? They both stood AFK. Again, that's that's an assumption though as well. We don't know this. Guy, we don't know these dudes SR. We don't know if they like even if they play tank. If, that's we correct. But what, as you know. scale up the ranks, as you scale up the ranks, and you see the impact each player was making, if a silver player DPS player is making a lot of impact and the tanks and supports are not making much impact in a meta, then it's likely to incur that as you scale upwards in in uh, in, in in rank, that that will stay the didn't same. You earlier, didn't you say earlier, though, that supports, like, in gold, they, they tend to just AFK and go on healing? Correct. But that doesn't... that. But if the support players are making a lot of impact and they're not playing support correctly, aka, if you play Brig and you're a Brig player in gold... You don't understand how to play Brig, but you still get a ton of value just existing there on Brig. That does that means Brig is bad and Brig was broken. Like remember, there was a guy in GM. His name was Neek. He was a literal twenty two hundred player when Brig came out. He went to forty four twelve playing Brig only when Brig got released from twenty two hundred to forty four twelve in the span of a week and a half. He was terrorizing yeah, in the ladder. Like, like, oh, like, just because he would start to flex. He was gold. He was low gold. He was awful. He played a broken hero. Yeah, that I'm doesn't not, mean you know how to play I'm the hero the best way. It's just the broken hero existed. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you on that, but that's not applicable here. Like, which of these heroes falls under that category? 
It, or it, it doesn't, all, it doesn't, and I no other heroes need to fall under that category. The, the point of what I just said was that if a hero is really strong and if supports are strong, then they will scale up the ladder the same way as we saw them. What we saw today was mostly DPS doing all the work. Tanks just existed and supports sat there and pocketed the tanks and, and, and sometimes healed other stuff. But what we saw was literally the best gameplay we saw was when they were running Hanzo Widow. When Hanzo Widow is was when things died. Other than that, at some point, I remember watching literally an Ash and a Soldier and a Mercy. The Ash and Mercy were pocketing each other, and the Soldier was the enemy Soldier. They were literally two feet away from each other, shooting each other, and they couldn't hit a single bullet on each other. Like, like that shit yeah, happens, like, right? So much, I mean, but they I scales agree, upward I'm, the ladder. If they were hitting that much, if they were hitting that much impact in this game, if you theoretically, if you scaled it up to let's say Masters, then those DPS players at Masters would have the same level of impact that the tank that the, the dps players and silvers would yeah, have but, as a percentage yeah but there's so many variables here like yes i'm speaking on on hypotheticals but there's a lot of hypotheticals here and what you're saying as well like again we don't know what these guys play remember the ta we know the tank isn't always about what you see on the kill feed as well like i don't know what the winston and zarya were doing i wasn't paying like watching their the hypothetical the time maybe they were making a lot of spaces maybe they were maybe they weren't we don't we, we just don't know like we don't know about these dudes the hypothetical is this is dog shit. That's the hypothetical. That's my only hypothetical is it's dog shit. That's it. That's where my hypotheticals end. Like, Everything I, else I, I've I, talked I, about has yeah. been like whether the experience in the past has shown that we we tried to make something happen or asked for a certain change and it either happened or didn't. And when it happened, more than likely than not, it ended up fixing it. Like, for example, the balance changes. We we, yeah, we again, always said we need more aggressive, more frequent balance changes. We got them and now the game is in a much better spot. Yeah, but remember, it fixed it for us, fire. not for the people who, you know, we're, it's like asking your fans why your stream is good. If you really wanted to, like, figure out why people don't watch you, you'd, you'd ask the people who don't watch your stream, right? So the same thing. It's like, to figure out what, why people don't play or watch, they're going with, um, the, they're, gonna, they're going for the people who don't play or watch. They're not asking us. I, yeah, I would love for them to ask us. I'd love for them to implement everything we tell them, but they're just going, they're not asking us. They're asking the people who don't play or watch. Okay, so you're telling me that the best idea. Okay, and by the way, I've already I've already disclaimed. By the way, that, that that's not how it should go. So you're telling me that the best way forward is to try to get the attention of people who don't play the game and say "fuck you" to everybody else. Is that what you're telling me? I don't. Again, I don't see it as a "fuck you." Why is it? I don't see it as a "fuck you." Like, why is it a "fuck you"? It's it's like a, a different take on it. Again, remember that. Tanks are like such a small percentage of the player base anyways. Like, but is it, is we've this gone over this a hundred times. Like, I'm, I'm just repeating myself. People who don't play the role yeah. still are going to get affected by it. Like, they still, they have no idea whether they know or not how different the game is played. Well, again, it is, it is hypothetical. So I'm, I'm. No, I'm if, and you play a game, play a game without a tank and you'll see what happens. I mean, I played the game when it was like open queue and yeah. It felt open queue was dog shit. Yeah, but yeah, people liked the game then too. You said people and it was dog shit for the game. That was, was correct. Queue. How many people play open queue now? Game. How many people play open queue now? This could, yeah, but this could be good for the game too. Isn't this like rank one on open queue like forty one hundred? This could this could take the same change if it, that people thought that open queue to two 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 would do. Mm, I I mean I was one of the people that very heavily was said two 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 is very good, and I was on top of that too saying that. That a lot of other people said that 2 to 2 would be very good for the game. That's why when you said it wasn't unanimous and not everybody said that, I'm not really sure like like where you got that from because I remember most people saying 2 to 2 was the way to play the game because what happened was the previous meta before was 2 to 2. We played Dive for a year. Everybody quote unquote loved Dive. Then Ghost happened and it was like, oh, let's go back to Dive. So everyone was like, oh, 2 to 2 must be the way the game is played. Yeah, but right? that's how echo chambers work, Flats. Like you got the opinion of the people who continued to play the game. You didn't. No, get what, the what, you, what, what you said earlier was anyway. what you said earlier is I don't know where you got that. I, I'm I'm just saying that no. I heard a, that everybody else said it too, and I, that's I what happened. It's not unanimous. But again, that's that's the echo chamber. You, you you heard the people who already played the game and you interact with. We didn't talk to the people who left the game when two 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 came in because they were like, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." Okay, and so you think they'll come back because they just lost the tank? Not, not singular again it's not it's not as reductive as that they're not going to come back because it's just because they switched to, to a tank and even if they come back because it's free they might not come back and stay 
but a lot of combination of things might get them to come back together instead. we are strong this is one of those things i think it could be good i'm not saying it will be good flat and again we can agree to disagree i'm not like i respect your take you, you i tell you what there's like a, a good chance you could be absolutely right i'm just saying don't dismiss it we haven't even got our hands on it nobody will play we haven't even got our hands on it yet. It could just be like a huge success for the people who just generally like play quick play and play arcade. They could come in, have a great time, make a thriving community. Okay, maybe it doesn't feel as, as like fun for us at top 500 or me, Hardstuck Master, but maybe it makes a better thriving game. A uh, giant doubt. I don't dismiss you for on. doubting. I don't dismiss you for doubting. I'm just saying, give it a shot. We don't uh, I mean, I don't have a choice. Of course, I'm going to give it a shot, but it's going to—it's going to be shit. Like I'm telling you right now, it's going to be shit. Because I'm—I'm—I hate. I'm really tired of having this whole facts book of stuff that we've experienced through five years. So typically, history is a good way to to avoid repeating itself. So we have this history book of everything that we've been looking at and said, "Hey, this is how we've progressed over five years," and so. We want to keep moving down that track where we're using that to learn from it. So instead, we derail and go, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Try it. Give it a shot. It's like, yeah, but again, who, like I'm not I don't buy in on, on hopes and prayers. Yeah, and I feel you. But again, they're going with the in their idea, their train, the train has been going towards our destination making us happier and happier, arguably, although, of course, there was lots who, of times who that else is there? Who's the other person? Again, the people who, who don't currently play the game. The people who don't exist? No, the people who just are not choosing to play this game. The people who are choosing to play a different game. So then that's, make the game that we play about. more better for, for, for... Make it something that people want to come enjoy and be a part of. That's what, what they think this change is. Is it though? You're not because you're doing something completely different. That's not what I said. What I said was, is that make what we're doing then more enjoyable. You're, you're, again, this is something completely different. We well, just said, again, I don't, how's this not enjoyable? They think it's going to make Tank more fun. Oh, I think it's going to fucking be, I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to send us to the moon. That doesn't mean it'll happen. No, and again, I, like I said, I, 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 I'm here, I'm, I'm, I respect your opinion a lot, Flats. I think you're very, like, informed, dude. I think. You're 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 right in to to have so much so much skepticism, and there's a good chance, like I said, that you'll be proven right, and I, I I'll look like a fool. I'm not. I mean, I'm not even saying it's gonna be. It's, I'm not saying it's gonna be good. I have no problem I'm with saying, being like against right. it. I just want to say that I, my only thing is I don't like that everything is, uh, theory versus things that like. It. And, but it is theory though. This is we don't have any idea. We've never played a five v five version of Overwatch. Of course, it's theory. How is it? How can it not be? But how, how do you put so much weight in theory as opposed to stuff that we have literal facts on it? I have I have play tested 5v5 actually a lot, like several months ago. I actually play tested 5v5 with my Discord server. And it actually wasn't wasn't what you're saying it is. It was like the one of the biggest benefits was like everybody got to carry more like individually. Like a lot of the players like fights were turnable. Players felt like, oh, like when I asked their feedback, I was like, what did you guys think? And they were like, actually, yeah, I felt like I could do more as a person. Like with one less player, there's you know, one less person to take out. Easier for you to, to to frag out and feel like you're powerful in the game. It's not, I don't think it's as binary as you're making it out to be. Mm. I, I, I played with people who said, who said it was a lot of fun. Like, obviously, there comes issues with it, right? Of course, one of the issues comes with it. Well, now we have to rebalance everything. And like, when we played 5v5, everyone was playing like, the, like nobody really wanted to play Ryan. People wanted to play Ball and Hog and Zarya, Thanks. and like they wanted Making to play all the, the off tanks. To what might lead of course, but that's because we hadn't gamble. balanced when we but just play tested five v five. So you have to, yeah, of course you have like to restructure the game. Of course you have to like rethink stuff. But there is a chance that it makes the game more fun. Like people did enjoy it. They were like, yeah, that's cool. Like they were like, yeah, the game needs to be rebalanced because like Ryan is dog shit now. But I could do more. I could, I could turn a fight even when we lost two people. I could turn a fight. My only thing with that. Is just like the diva change. Is everybody thought it was hilarious and fun for like the first two days, and then everyone realized like, ooh, that's ass. Do you see what yeah, I'm saying? I mean, but again, people, the same thing could be like people tried the change and they also liked it. You know, like we don't know, again, we don't know. We we have to actually try five v five for an extended period of time, and see if we like it or dislike. I mean, that's why I would love for them but here's to the put a shot on this. Here's the thing, real talk. Yeah. You say try it for an extended period of time. 
once we try this quote unquote for an extended period of time it's too late they're not turning back they're not oh, yeah. it's, it's a big mistake it's a big mistake to throw it straight out of Overwatch 2 I, again I, I we there is no trying on the Blizzard. okay there is they only it will yeah, happen they, they, yeah, there is no trying now. I think they should have given it to us as a as a trial. But okay, they're going with it, so we're gonna have to try it live. Mm -hmm. I, I I actually been I've been organizing behind the scenes. I've been actually working on creating a workshop code with the workshop gurus for a five v five Overwatch two patch with all the changes. Like, cause I I had a good idea, I had a good feeling it was gonna go five v five anyways. So I'd already been working on the assumption. So I want to try it. Maybe you want to be a part of that too. Like, we could try it and see what you tell me. Let's see what you feel. Play, yeah, sure. play in the lobby with a bunch of content creators. Let's try it. Let's then we can like then then I really want to hear your feedback and then I really want to hear what Flats has to say playing solo tank in a five v five. Sure, a hundred percent. To be fair though, I'm really afraid of if I get into it and it's dog shit, then the excuse is going to be, oh, but it's not balanced right. It'll be more balanced when it becomes. It feels yeah, like there well, is no way to win because I'm fighting hypotheticals. Like there is no there is no W here. Like I I, I I've talked about like stuff that has happened the history of why it's happened the way the game has been played when the game was successful what made the game successful and what made people love it and what made it people turn it away but it's you can't you can't fight maybe or hypotheticals like it doesn't it doesn't work like well, it, there's nothing if to you don't like it you're right if you don't like it there is no w but that's the nature of it right like all i'm saying it's is, not, let's it's try not really it. the nature of it though like there's it's just it's like you can like i could say all day that you know in five years i'll build a rocket and go to the moon well like that you, you could have everything in the book of like you don't know these these sciences whatnot it's like yeah you never know though you know like no, no, what I, it's an extreme example is, but like still like there, there there's no evidence at all you know like at all like anything to to say that this is good no there's no hard ever but there's no hard ever to say it's bad either right? well like, again uh, it's all hypothetical it's all hypothetical i would say the hard evidence that I'm makes it bad is because uh as i saw super's tweet is you you lose actually things like tank synergy that people enjoyed and genuinely loved about the game so there is hard evidence there's things that people enjoyed and liked about the game and things that people said that you know is why they played or those rushes they got on on you know what made them love overwatch either before or now uh those are gone so that is evidence well again that's selective evidence because you're asking the people who like the game currently again if you ask people who how's that's, that's how selective like evidence it, any it, difference in evidence it's just evidence no because it's again it, you're asking a, if you depending on who you ask in the street the question the answers will be very different if you ask a bunch of rich people how they feel about poverty they're going to be like it's all good so you know we, we super yes I respect super's opinion it's a it's a good it's a good opinion to so take are you saying mind. that most tank players don't think that tank synergy is fun? No, I'm saying most tank I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying most tank players do think the synergy is fun, and that's why they play tank. Yeah. But if you ask people who didn't play tank, they would. But those the, but those opinions don't matter there, right? Because we're only talking about that small group of you tank want, players. You want to convince them. You want to convince them to play tank. You want to convince those people to play tank because nobody plays tank. But what does that have to do with what I just said? But you said you were talking about taking something away and having hard evidence on taking it away, on on and I and I told you where the hard evidence was, and then it's subjective I'm not, evidence, and then I, I, that's not. How's that hard evidence though? Super's how's Super's opinion hard evidence? I'm not. I don't know. That's why I asked you the follow up question. I said, do you believe that most tank players not value tank synergy or don't think it's fun? And you said you said yes. Yeah. I think they do. So that yeah. that means you agreed but, with me. But, yeah, but the scope is what we're disagreeing on. You're saying in the scope of tank, play, like you're asking tank Thompson. players to tell he people saying the game what the tank game. should what should be done with this tank. Be the game whereas the devs are asking game. everybody this is what should be done with tank in order base. to make it more it's appealing to everyone. I, if game. I want to make my neighborhood the best neighborhood out there. And I go around to all my neighbors and I ask them, what would they like to see in the neighborhood? I don't go over three states and go to New Jersey and ask them what they would like in my neighborhood. I build well, a actually, good neighborhood well, actually, and then people wanted... move into my neighborhood and enjoy it. 
Well, no, the better, the, uh, well, that's one metaphor. I would argue the better metaphor is if you had a neighborhood where not many people live, which is Overwatch, you wouldn't ask the people who currently live in the neighborhood, hey, why do you like living in the neighborhood? You ask the people who don't move to the neighborhood and say, why didn't you move to the neighborhood? Why won't you go to this neighborhood? You don't go why and ask every other person to... in the world why they didn't move to the neighborhood? Not every other person in the world, but you ask a sample size of other people and you say, well, why, why is this neighborhood not appealing? How can we make this neighborhood more appealing for you to come to? I didn't ask the I didn't ask the neighbors why they liked it. I asked them what would they do to make it better. Yeah, but their opinion they already live there. You've already Yeah, they already live there, but what there. would they make it better? Like like what would you do to make it better? Build up the neighborhood, make yeah, it but, better. Like who, who, that, who gives a fuck if someone two states there. over says, "Oh, I would like to see this." That doesn't mean they're going to join you. That makes no, that, that doesn't mean anything. Like anyone loves to give opinion on something. They'll say, "Oh yeah, like I'd love to see uh, you guys have a water fountain in the middle of a uh, middle of the street." You know, that'd be look kind of cool with a little cul-de-sac. Yeah, they never move there. Then who cares? It's certainly more likely than asking the current people who live. Like, if you wanted to convince people who don't live there to come live, you you should ask them, not ask the people who already live there. No, but, the, but that's not how that works. You don't go ask them. everybody for their opinions. You make your your neighborhood a desirable place to live, and people come to you. It's just like any any product. You don't go out and ask everybody what type of product they want. You build a product that people are going to want, and they come and get it. I think we'll just have to we we'll just have to kind of agree to disagree on that one. I I, I genuinely think that. I, again, I understand where you're coming from, but like I with think your stream, okay. I want to ask you like one question: with your stream, right? Yeah. Do you constantly go out and ask other people what you can do to make a better stream, or do you make content that you enjoy and try to improve upon it and make it something that people will enjoy? Yeah, but if I wanted, so again, you know this as well. Like, if I want to grow as a content creator, if I asked my stream all day long, guys, why do you like watching me? It'll give me a good indication of why the guys who like me like me, but it will give me no indication on why the people who don't like me and who aren't currently watching my stream, why they're not watching my stream. Mm -hmm. If I want to grow my stream, I need to figure out how do I reach out to more people who don't currently watch my stream. So I'm going to go mm -hmm. and ask, or or not ask, I'm going to look at what other what's going on in other games or other streamers. I'm going to look and see, what are they doing well? What is it? What are they doing that I'm not doing? Mm -hmm. And that's what Overwatch have done. They've been like, well, we, we heard what you guys had to say, but we're going to listen to the people. We're going to look at the people who aren't playing. No, I 100% agree. I 100% agree. But the problem is, though, it's okay to look forward and be like, hey, like these people are doing great things. Let's do those. But you're not building on yourself at that point. Like you, you're, you're not taking advantage. Of, like you're not building what you want anymore. Like a good example, in my opinion, would be if they want to do what other games are doing, they would do, you know, free to play um you know microtransactions to make them like not only make the money but on top of that too like we get more content whether it's skins or etc emotes whatever it is something so both ends are becoming happy because more money coming in is more influence for more content right but the problem is though is that if you go to try to copy everybody else you're not making anything you enjoy or in this case what the player base enjoys like yeah you might end up making something great but you might end up making something that everybody hates yeah, and, and that is the risk. That's the risk they're taking. It is a risk. Of mm -hmm. course it's a risk. They're like taking this big step in. Again, I think the way they see it is, well, we've had 6v6 and we have a dwindling community. And of course, we'll say, well, it's because you, you abandoned the community. It's because you didn't give us new content. It's because you didn't go free to play. But they're also thinking, well, it's also maybe because there's a fundamental flaw in our game. And that, you know, again, we've, we've, we've agreed on what we identify as the flaw. They've come up with a different solution to what we might have argued. We might have said, well, do this. But they're saying, okay, well, let's do it like this. Well, well the flaw they think is, is because tank is fun, right? Or sorry, well, isn't fun, sorry. Fun. Is, yeah, my yeah. bad. It isn't fun, right? Yeah. Typically, when you're trying to problem solve, at least in my opinion, you typically want to break it down into something that's, you know, like finding the like issues of with it. When... I'm problem solving, or I feel like a lot of other people are problem solving. If something is problematic and it has issues, you typically want to try to build on it and you want to try to make it better, not take away pieces of it unless those pieces are bad for it. And I think in this case, two tanks then weren't bad for tanks. Like, if anything, two tanks was probably worse for other people like for for the dps or the supports quote unquote because like they had to deal with the tank players existing 
um, in their games. At, at that point, isn't technically the answer just remove tanks, period? Well, yeah, if we take it to the extreme degree, again, it, it's all about like nuance. It's not, it's, you, you, yeah, if you took tanks away, it would remove all the tank problems. Mm -hmm. But then you would argue, well, it loses something court or watch. It loses exactly. why we came or watch. And again, it's like, it's a, it's a scale. It's not, I don't think it's a binary. I don't think it's like you take one tank away. You know, you can take more and more away. You can take everything away, make it a one on one, put in creeps, put in resources, and let's make it star. You know, like you could completely change in any way. But can I ask they you a question? Feel, yeah, go ahead. Can you answer that one more time? But because, just because I, I, I'm genuinely curious, you said that removing tanks entirely would take away what is core to Overwatch. Yeah. Isn't that proving the point of two tanks being taken away is part of the core of Overwatch? So if, if in my opinion, and many others, if the core of Overwatch is those synergies between tank, DPS, and support, if you're removing one, aren't you getting rid of that? I don't, I don't think, again, I, I kind of discussed this with my stream earlier. I don't think tank synergies are core to Overwatch. I think having one tank is still is still enough Overwatch for me. I I, I think so. Anyways, maybe Take we'll play and we won't agree. I think having one one tank is still enough Overwatch, and it still remains cowling. Overwatch. You might you know you might disagree. You might feel no. I think the tank synergy was what made Overwatch for me. I don't think it's what I don't think it makes or breaks Overwatch. I think having one mm -hmm. tank is fine. There's still enough elements of Overwatch in there to keep it looking like Overwatch, playing like Overwatch, while maybe making it a little bit better in a different way. Together, so what do you decide? Yes, what do you consider so they are Overwatch? To find a like what's what makes Overwatch Overwatch is a paid a paid. I think, I think to another I'll, game. Tell what, I'll tell you why I played Overwatch. I'll tell you why I played Overwatch and what drew me to Overwatch. Hmm? A, a diverse a, a diverse game where like different yeah. types of people could play. Like you know like I'm I'm Pepega. I don't have mechanics for shit. Feel I was that. like yeah I can play this Reinhardt and Winston dude, and I just hold M1. And I fucking win all day, right? And that's why I played Overwatch. And I think that's what it needs to keep. Now again, we can we can kind of disagree in the particulars about um, what how we keep that or what we don't keep. But I think there's still going to be that in our watch. It's still you're still going to have the Winstons, you're still going to have the Mercies and the Moras and the Reinhardts. But you know, ultimately they want it to be an FPS game, so they want to have a greater emphasis on the shooty shooty. So the shooty shooty is is the DPS role, right? For the most part. Um, yeah, well, yeah. That diversity, you know. Uh, beyond that, Overwatch is a very diverse game, and I 100% agree. Um, but part of that diversity has always been, you know, being able to play other stuff and being able to play, you know, what you wanted to, and to an extent, you know, like obviously as you become a competitive player, that's not really like an option anymore. Um, and I think that, I think you are kind of really... I, like underselling what's what I think it might will or will happen um, of what drew you to this game, you know, with a Winston, the, 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 the Ryan, etc. cetera. Um, because when you are the only tank, you don't get to choose really anymore what you're going to play. Um, and when you do decide to make that choice, if it's not the correct choice or not the choice that everybody else wants you to make, Oh, you're gonna, you're going to feel the pain for it. Um, and I, and I think that's something that, is going to even over all these improvements you know make overwatch more fun for the other people etc is going to send overwatches realistically like toxicity of what people deal with through the roof because if i say i like to play roadhog and i like to play diva if i pick those heroes and they have a Widowmaker, and i don't want to play the ryan and i don't want to play the the winston they don't they don't speak to me if i don't play those heroes we lose now, on the other end of that, in a, if you're the DPS or the, the support player, at least you have a chance with two people that someone's going to swap. At least you have some semblance of a chance. You don't have that chance anymore. So I think the one thing is missing through all this is player psychology. Because to be honest with you, you do make good points of like, you know, like, hey, like, you know, you still get to play it. You still get to play this. You get to play that. But in reality, you're really not going to because tanks never worked like that. And... Yeah, they're trying to make it more fun, and there's you know these hypotheticals of oh hey like you know you'll get to, um, you know it'll be more DPSy, it'll be less oppressive, etc. I don't think 
you're going to have that magic world because that problem already persists in Overwatch when people don't play the tank that they want. And I and I think this is, you know, someone who probably works with lower ranks more than I do at this point. I think it's pretty fair to say that if tank players don't pick the heroes that they're supposed to pick, people get pretty upset through all the ranks. Is, is that right? Mostly? I mean, it's it's hard to judge objectively. Everyone thinks everyone's mad at every, everyone else. I think I think in lower ranks, the biggest thing is the disproportionate thing is everyone wants a Reinhardt. Yes. Everyone wants a Reinhardt regardless of what the meta is. Yep. But that's that's a tank though. Yeah, but that's again that's because we have a very narrow view, and uh, this is like conflating different arguments. That's more to do with a flawed perception, where the game fire. is seen in the, the metal ranks as very like shield centric. Like we need big rectangle man to guide us. Mm -hmm. But again, uh, an argument could be made that if we remove that, because they are doing a lot of shield removing, right? That's why they didn't have Arisa and Sigma, because when well, they already said with Arisa they don't want to have shields. So the argument, counter argument to that is, well, they want to take shielding out of the equation. They want to take that element of, we need big rectangle man to save us and get us from one place to the other. And that way people aren't as reliant on tanks. So they don't flame you for not picking Reinhardt. Yeah, but where's the change? Reinhardt still has his shield. But now he, but now he's like one of many, like he's just an option. It's not like you need the Reinhardt because now you're used to a world where there's 5v5, where the emphasis isn't on tanks so much. No, that's, but that's the, the Reinhardt still exists. Again, this is hypothetical. Which is like the pick. This is hypothetical. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, but the game's but the game's emphasis changes when it's only five. It's, I don't it's think a it different does. emphasis. There's more space. There's more space automatically by being one less player. There's more space for you to roam and flank around the shield. Is there though? Because uh, I I think Super asked the question if they planned on reworking maps, and it seemed like it caught them by surprise. So I don't know yeah. if there's going to be much more flanking. Yeah, if you put if you put yeah, but if you put two less people in the lobby, there's automatically going to be more space, right? Like, there's less there's less people occupying a spot. Technically, yes, but... And everyone there's... threatens, like, everyone threatens more than just the space they're in. Like, you know, but... if there's a Roadhog on the high ground, he doesn't just threaten the high ground, he threatens the immediate vicinity of his hook. You ever played Hanamura without a without, uh, shield tank? Tragically, yes. Yeah, well, you probably know what I'm talking about then. You don't... Yeah, the the tanks the tanks that hold the choke are there just to make it slower. Be a Hanamura anymore, so. Okay. But yeah, I, mean, I, I can walled first. Like, then I can walled. Let's say I can walled first. Does that work? Well, again, people have to change their play style. You know, it's like you're talking teething problems of a, of a game people haven't had a chance to play. Really, they have to change their play style, but that's that doesn't change player mentality. I'm the player, player yeah. who dedicated well, the reason we got two 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 we got two 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 because player mentality had had enough and wanted two 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 they wanted stability want goats was on its way out the door are. because there we were comps coming out that were stronger and it's not what but the player is. mentality won out and they realized that and they were like okay we need to have some stability for this game yeah but it wasn't just it wasn't it, 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 it wasn't just goats it was also like let's stop this happening again in the future right yeah, so it wasn't like, yeah, I agree that you, you, the player mentality was starting to kick kick back against it. We we're seeing variation, but I, I don't think that there was. So there was a player based mentality change though when it came with it. Like people had to change the game, how they approach the game, and that's the same thing that'll happen here. At least there, we didn't have any notice. Mm. Like here, we have notice. And yeah, but, like, but you know like, what ended up happening? Double shield for a year, because that wasn't the player based change. The player base figured it out very quickly. Development team couldn't figure that's it out. They didn't, yeah, that's because they didn't balance. They just dropped it on us. At least this time, they're going to balance everything before they drop it didn't on Didn't they tell us they were going to balance, rebalance everything before 222 with goats? They said they were going to rebalance everything. It took over a year and a half. Yeah, but that, exactly. That was a year and a half of live testing it on us. Now they're doing it in the back room before we ever play the game. They did testing before that's why they I went. felt so horrible. They, Jeff said himself that they had been testing 222 for almost a year. They've been testing it yeah. forever. So they have been testing over what they tested two 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 the same way they tested this same stuff. No different. And if Yeah, and again, like I said, there's a good chance they screw it up, but if it makes for if the what's what's won is better than what's lost, then it might be it might turn out to be a worthwhile change. But but you're sacrificing I mean, had, something for a chance. Teething, you're gambling. We had teething, we had teething problems with two two two, and in the end we agreed that it was a good thing. So 
if you agree that two 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 is a good thing, why why isn't it possible that we have teething problems with five five, but also it ends up being a good thing? I also think a majority of people agreed with two 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 being good, and 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 you you will say I know it's coming. That's your echo chamber, but okay, but my echo chamber also said two 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 is good, and hey, that's what everyone thinks. So maybe my echo chamber was onto something. Maybe we don't. Again, that's hard to prove. Like I I don't sit here and and remember every every take you said you said whether it was valid or wrong. You know, I, maybe I'm sure we've all missed. I've missed plenty of times and I've had opinions sure. and I've had to yeah. renege on. So, you know, we don't we don't sit and remember every take we hot take we had that didn't come out and we're glad the devs ignored. Mm -hmm. So it could be the same thing here, you know. Could be. I don't be. think being right once being means we're entitled to be right forever. I do think history holds a lot of weight that if history keeps repeating itself, it's dumb to let it keep happening. Um and I think that's kind of where we're at. But of course there there's the possibility people... it's proven wrong. Of course there is. Yeah. I mean, there were people who liked 2 to 2 There are people who disliked 2 to 2 There are people who hated ro hero limits going off, right? There are people who were like, including the dev team, were initially against it themselves, where they were like, we love the idea that everyone can pick like six Winstons. And there mm -hmm. were people who were like, well, if you, if you stop me from picking six Winstons, I'm leaving the game, right? Like that, that's always going to be, anytime, nobody likes change. Let's be honest, like nobody likes any big change anytime into a game. So yeah, you're, you're completely fair to like be skeptical, to be like, this is probably going to fuck up. I, I'm choosing to be optimistic. I think, I think it could be good. I think there's a lot that could be gained is what I'm saying. It's a big risk. I think there's a lot that could be gained as a consequence. But the problem is, is there's a big risk and there's really no need for the big risk, to be honest. That's my thing is, is there's no need like... They've proven in the last year that they can balance with two two two. That has been proven. Yes, there's issues, but it's been proven that they've they've got their shit. They've been listening to the community with a lot of different things, like a lot of different changes. And you know, we complained about BAP healing, we complained about lamp, and with lamp's damage, like how it went from twenty percent to ten percent. The health of lamp has gone down. BAP's healing went down, but it's in like to keep the skill ceiling high. The direct is up, so they listen to us. So, like, we're all kind of working on the same page on some level, right? Well, they listen to us on some things, and if you think that they were able to get 222 right, maybe they'll get 5-5 five, five right. Yeah, but, but, but again, I think you're missing the point, is we just said that 1-2-2 two, two, two is taking a massive gamble yeah. when the massive gamble doesn't need to be taken. Yeah, I mean, we could, we could again, that's subjective we could say we, we they might feel differently they feel like mm, the game's not what we want it to be we do need to take we, they feel like they need to freshen the game up drastically like they don't think it was enough they don't think it's going to be enough to bring in people so they want to shake it up that's the call they've come to so the idea just to get this straight to get more people in is to get everybody like really riled up and upset and like being like oh hey like this is no, Bad. that's obviously not the idea. And I think, again, we, we, I don't think we can really make statements like everybody's riled and upset. Some people are riled and upset. Some people are up, like some people are like the change. I mean, just looking online, I mean, you know, we'll find out. We can go do forums and stuff. And yeah, of course, those are those are small example sizes. But that's the same thing as any sample size of just, as you said earlier, going to ask, you know, other people who play other games, what do you want to see? That's a sample size. Our sample sizes have to do with the forums, Twitter, people's Twitch chats, where people put up YouTube polls, etc. That's that's a sample size, and those do hold weight. Is it everybody? No, but if those sample sizes show uh, a, a a majority, and hopefully in my and hopefully for me, a, a vast majority of people saying this is terrible, this is awful, um, then I think it's fair to say that that it's a majority at that point. Is it not? Again, a majority of the Overwatch current player base, yes. A okay. majority of the players that they're targeting, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We don't. We, we don't. don't Again, I mean, a, they're targeting every it's a gamer. Shot in the dark. That's yeah, it's a shot in the dark. But they, okay, like it, it comes down to like again, like competent. Oh. They have been incompetent in several areas, but maybe they won't be so incompetent that they haven't necessarily thought about this. You know, had a feeler around other people and said, "Yeah, this is what people want." Or this is people will like this better. People will like, but I, 
I'm pretty sure that quote unquote sample is is people not liking the shields in Overwatch. That's that's it. Like that's that is the big one. It's not liking shields. Yeah. And they are trying to take that away, right? They're trying to take a lot of that away. But the but you can take the shields away with two tanks. Like that's why it doesn't it's it's baffling to me because you can hundred percent still do it with what the core of the game without being shaken up and having it be a big major risk. Never mind, you know, like all the all the other repercussions that come of it, you know, like uh, all the all the people that have been playing this game for the last three or four years, whether they wanted to be pros or current pros or whatever. If, if like if like I, I saw a thing earlier, like Magic of League of Legends five minutes five years in said, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of jungle. Like that yeah, would be class. awful. That'd be awful. Like the amount of careers that would ruin right there on the spot. Oof. You know, like, I, I just don't think there's, a, there's like, if they wanted to balance it off, go ahead, take away Sigma Shield. Go ahead, take away Arisa Shield, you know, like, where you could still keep two tanks, you know? You could still keep two tanks and be and, and do accomplish a lot of those things that they want to accomplish. And, you know, the great thing is, is with Experimental. Remember we tried 132, and I, people were, like, open to it, but I think it ended up being, like, people were like, no, please don't do that. But they were like, thanks for trying it. Yeah, they liked ideas in it. Yeah, they liked some of the ideas in it. People were like, yeah. This, yeah, it was cool this, ideas. This way. Like I said, Roadhouse yeah. Fart Gas was cool. Like I was like, dude, they should actually implement that. Like make him actually like a useful tank to other people other than himself. But it was cool ideas. But I feel like most people, again, said, no, like, please don't. You know, like, don't do that. You know, and I think this is a this is a case of, you know, let's just trust them. You know, and it's like yeah let's just trust them i guess like we don't have a choice like again it comes down to we don't have a choice but at the same time though if we get to have our way i'd love to see it gone i think many other people would like to see it gone as well because you're 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 removing what at one point was uh someone's experience in this game for other people's it's basically like you know if somebody had has been loyal to this game for three years let's say and they play it all the time and they've always enjoyed playing Zarya, right? That's what they play this game for. You're kicking them to the curb because you want to see if you can get ten new people. You know, it's you're rocking your foundation yeah, for the the possibility of getting new players. Yeah, and that is what they're doing. That is the decision making. Again, I think you could say morally it's wrong. You know, like again, if it was up to me, I would I would balance the game for us. But they're trying to take the bigger holistic take of like, okay, well, and you know. Some some people uh, some people always dislike some change you make, right? P people will always dislike whatever change. Like people always say, like I'll stop playing the game if you change it like this. You can still play Zarya if you want to. You just got to change this play style. I mean, it's the same thing as like reworking Mercy or reworking Symmetra. Someone will come in and say, well, that was I played the hero for those reasons, and now you've taken away those reasons from me. Well, but if the decision is good for the balance of the game overall, is that not the dub? Is that not the W? uh well there's a difference between the balance of the game overall and removing a core like what the hero is you get what i mean like like there's certain things that like yes i could you could totally you're totally right you on like, like if you talk about brig right King, like you played brig because brig was just a fucking power trip of a hero to play and say so they reworked her so she wasn't busted anymore like i'm done playing brig i enjoyed the power trip yeah you're right you're right at that point you know but the current state wasn't like that wasn't unhealthy you know, like, I guess you could argue maybe it was like if you wanted to say like, oh, hey, like, um, uh, it, it, we the the tanks are, are too strong and there's nothing we can do about it. That's unhealthy. But the current state of Overwatch of what we have just proves that, you know what I mean? Like, I, th I think I think as well, like the state we have now is probably the exception to the rule. I think like for me, I'm I'm in favor of like, you know, you know, I'm in favor of hero bands, for example, the reason being. I think it's a way to control metas from going out of, out of control, right? Basically, like it allows you to potentially Together, stop stuff becoming hard meta. Because I think in My the majority of Overwatch lifestyle, like you said, so today stuff has been hard meta, right? Podcast. Stuff becomes like two tank. The two specific tanks become the two specific tanks. Chances are they've been trying this and thinking about this a lot longer than the happy meta we have now, right? Mm -hmm. The happy meta we have now is is right now, but 
what's the chance that like a new hero comes out and suddenly all that goes to shit, right? And, and, and there's going to be a lot of new heroes coming out. So a lot, a lot might go to shit. So they, again, they're trying to take the bigger picture. The bigger picture is if you change fundamentally how tank operates, maybe that fundamental core of two tanks together breaking stuff goes away. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like Orisa's only broken with Sigma. Like Orisa without Sigma wasn't so oppressive. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking, well, let's let's stop those from, from being... The, like, tank synergies are fun, but tank synergies can also make stuff really hard to counter. Isn't that just kind or of... Or just really obnoxious. I hate to say it, but that's not just kind of being lazy at that point? Because you just, like... Yeah. Those are fuck-ups. Like, again, those aren't like, those aren't the heroes. Are, that's, those are fuck-ups putting those out. Like, the, you know what I mean? Like, Sigma came yeah, out as again, a hero like, where they literally said, we want a hero that can do everything at once. Like, holy yeah, shit. I, like, I, what? I, you know? Yeah, and but I expect fuck ups. You know, and that's why I'm saying simplify the game. Like it's e it'll be easier to balance one tank than than having to balance them with the possibility of every combo they could ever be put into. Right? Again, like I said, it's a lot easier to balance Arisa if you don't have to balance how she'll play with Sigma. So you simplify the balance process for them. Now there's only one tank, so they they can do that a lot easier. I mean, you realistically, what this game is, what this game is going to become, is going to be poke versus double sniper poke, like. No matter what, like even if they balance other heroes, like they've nerfed snipers, they, it's just going to be all about playing back. Rush can never happen again with this. That, that's realistically just how it is. There is not, there is no ability to have rush. Like it just, there's, there, it just doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. Like it's gone. Um, that being said, rush was always thought of as the way this game was meant to be played. Right? Everybody always was like, "Oh, rush is really fun." Like that's that's that was quote unquote people's. <laughs> Our ideal overwatch right Suffering. so what you've done with this in 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 the idea to try to get new people has literally shooken overwatch to its core where the style quote unquote that most people consider the most fun will no longer be viable ever again for the for a play style where tanks aren't as, opp as oppressive but you also have the possibility of just not having a tank in your game. Like, you genuinely just don't have one. Like, I mean, the, all, the, all the other game modes are still going to exist. Like, you're you're going to tell me that people are are, are going to be okay with that one hog that just flanks every game, every time? Like, like, to be honest with you, like, I hear what you're saying, but practically, I just, I can't get behind, like, any of it. Like, practically and, 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 and theoretically are so different, and that's why... When they play test this shit and it goes to live, it, it almost never works because the same thing happened with Brig. The same thing happened with two, two, two. It like it took so long to even get to the point where it's like now stable ish. It, you, you've you've then shooken it to its core in the hopes that new people will play. And, and, and I hate and I don't really want to just like keep going back and saying the same shit over and over again. But um. The, the the basic part of this is most people expected Overwatch 2 to be improvements of Overwatch 1, not to be taking away from Overwatch 1 in hopes that Overwatch 2 is something different. And because here's the kicker, you can't go back to Overwatch 1. If you enjoy Overwatch 1 for the reason that Overwatch 1 exists and that's like been your thing, you don't have a choice. Overwatch 2 is Overwatch 1. They will go together. So this game disappears the second it becomes updated. Yeah, and that again, it is the risk. That is the risk they're taking, and I agree. Maybe they didn't need to take the risk, but they are taking the risk. And I don't. I'm not as I don't. I'm not as pessimistic. Usually I am. Usually I'm with you in the pessimistic train. Usually I I, I assume the worst, but I do think like they want to make a different game. That's the whole point. They've kind of. I think they've said we had the Overwatch One experiment. We want to make a bigger, better, more expansive game. That's what they're going for. I think it could get there. I think it could be that. It's, that's a lot of hypotheticals. Yes, that's not something you want to... If I'm like a cold, hard stock investor, in, investor, maybe I don't... I look at that risk and I think risk aversion. I don't want to take that. I think they could do it, though. I think, I think, I think if they pull it... This, this is the way I see it. If they do it right, it makes Overwatch a better game than it is now. Like, Overwatch right, right now, or better... Again, better is subjective, but it makes it a more popular game, I think. If they do it right, it's a better, it's a more popular game than the game that we play right now. Mm. 
I mean, Overwatch showed it can be the most popular game on the market. So, to be honest with you, like, I hear what you're saying, but for, Overwatch for is... For a point in time, but then it... For a point in time, then it went through many changes, right? By that same mm -hmm. argument, we should just stick stuck with six Winstons and, you know, everybody do what you want. Like, we've changed no, many I'm things about the Not really. Game. Like, that's, that's the same thing as 222. People were very sick of a certain thing and they changed it. Who was sick of two tanks? Yeah, but again, when, when Overwatch was that popular, it was that Pepega fest, right? Like, we look back at it now, we're like, oh, that's Pepega. Like, who, who wants to play against five tracers? But that was when Overwatch, that's when Overwatch won game of the year. That's when it came out. Everyone loved it because it had mm -hmm. that. It had all, all those other elements of diversity and fun and fun characters and bright visuals. It'll still have all those things. It'll still have an amazing PvE mode. And okay, there's a good chance it has some real teething issues when it comes out. But it could also be iterated to become the best game. Maybe. Um, based it's on hypothetical. what? I don't, I'm not trying to sell. I'm not trying to like... I'm not trying to sell you even on anything. I'm just... And I'm not even saying yeah, I'm... I was going to say, give me something to hold on to at that point. Hope, Flats. I, that's I, all I got for you. No, we, hope needs to be connected to something. Like, well, like I if can, I hold I out hope, if my, I'm trapped somewhere, I'm holding a hope someone's going to rescue me. What, what is the hope to hold to? Tell me. I can only give you my experience. When I play Tested 5v5, people liked it. People who played it liked it. They thought if, they, if the heroes were rebalanced, it could be good for the game. Like... I don't have any more access. I don't have any access to resources that, you know, mm -hmm. would allow me to take anything more than that. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't play test before I play test it again. You know, I can't poll people. I don't have that many numbers. I'll poll my chat. But again, it's an echo chamber, right? I poll my chat. I'll poll my YouTube. These are people who already like Overwatch, who already like my takes. Maybe they'll already agree with me because they specifically watch me because they agree with me. So I don't have more resources than that. But I can tell you that when I, when I play Tested 5v5, and I'm very down for us to play test it again, like play this new version. We'll, we'll, give me your take on the balance changes as well, because I've been specifically trying to get balance changes, but I'm, I'm not the authority in Overwatch, right? I need other people's what do you mean takes. By balance so, changes? I, I, like, so, you know, the patch that I told you that I want you to play with other content creators, mm -hmm. the Overwatch 2 patch with 5v5, we've been trying to make a bunch of changes. So, like, theory crafting what someone might look like in Overwatch 2. So, I had kind of anticipated that they would take Orisa's shield away. So, I've been trying to thinking about, like, well, what would they give Orisa? Stampede. So, that, yeah, I thought of like a, a charge kind of thing, like a stampede. Yeah, sort of mm -hmm. like that, basically, where she like rushes forward like a Doomfist punch. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, like, give me your takes. Let's test it and let's see, you know, like, that's the best we can do. Like, we don't have anything better than that. Right now, it's all hypothetical. We, I mm -hmm. don't I, I wish I could give you something and be like, flats, I got the I got the juice, man. This is going to guarantee 5v5 pops. Mm -hmm. We can't guarantee 5v5 pops. We can't guarantee 5v5 flops. I'm breaking into rhymes here, but. Oh, that, all we can do is kind of hypothetical. It's almost like games are popular when they first come out and get less popular as time goes on a gauge. I w Here's the thing. I still have not even moved an inch on whether or not this is going to be good. I think this is awful. Mm -hmm. Am I going anywhere? No. But I want the possibility on the table to be this is all I want. This is literally all I want. If we get to play test this game in, in beta, okay? This is the only thing I'm so upset about. If we play test this as a community in beta, whether it's the OL players, whether creators, whether the public, whatever it gets to test it, and we go, this shit is ass. I want it to be on the table to go back. Because mm -hmm. if it's not even on the table to go back, then... You can't even ask people to, to, to be in the mindset to even try it because they're being forced to accept something that they likely are walking into with a bad mindset already. And walking into something with a bad mindset is a very good way to have uh, uh, whatever the like confirmation, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like the thing where you like you make something happen because you thought it was going to happen. Yeah, no, I agree. I think, again, we're a little bit biased. Of course, we want our opinions heard. I want. I think we. They should bias. listen to. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's dumb as hell that they're not listening to us. I think they should probably maybe try to consult and have some tests before Together, they did it. But we are strong. yeah, I agree with you. Why it would be nice have to have them on the table. But that's two, what I'm saying. Let's. Two, two, and one, two, chances two, are, let's let's be cynical here for a minute. You know, you said like. Based off those stats converted does it listen one. to us and all that? Chances are, they won't give us that. Or they won't put that on the table. But the best we can... And, and, the, and the cynical thing is they know you're not going anywhere. Real talk. 
they know the people who care about the game disproportionately won't go anywhere, even if they made a change that we were unhappy with. But the best we can do is give them the alternate perspective. It's kind of try it, but we have to try it. If we just do like, if we just sit here and we're like, fuck you, Blizzard, I don't, you ignored my opinion. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Well, we, that's nothing constructive. Why would they ever listen to us? We have to try it. We have to, we have to go. We have to make our best version. This is the way I see it. We have to make our best version, play it, and then tell them how we feel about it. And that's the only way we'll ever get our opinion heard. Only way. If we just sit here and be like, I, I watched your Overwatch 2 preview and I think it sucks. They're going to be like, well, you don't know. You didn't play test it. Mm -hmm. So th that's the best thing I see. That's the best outcome I see. If you have a better uh, solution, I'm all ears. I think it could work and we have to play it to find out. And then we have to tell Blizzard what we think. Uh, I mean, there probably isn't a better outcome than that, to be honest with you. But the problem with that is on a bigger picture and that's where i think a lot of us are actually trying to 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 look for it because to be honest with you if overwatch does well we all do well everybody has a stake in it every single person is in chat right now whatever they, they every single person like if you enjoy this game you want it to do well because if it does well that means it gets more update it gets more content you have more fun etc the problem is the problem is is that if we're being dictated what to do what to think and we don't really like it and other people come in there's no guarantee that those people are going to stay anyways because when overwatch when overwatch originally launched like like almost like any new game it did amazing then it fell off right like that's just kind of how it goes like even even the biggest juggernaut fortnite's kind of fallen off by now right yeah, like everything falls off. it's the nature yeah it's just it's just kind of how it goes you know but like we fell off harder and faster than some other games because we didn't care. We didn't, there's no reason to stay like, and, and I think to be honest with you saying like, Oh, they know we won't leave. Isn't totally true. I mean, even looking at my chat right now, like we lost like in this, this year alone, like since the start of 2021, we lost like five content creators, like, like decent, like good content creators that like genuinely enjoyed this game. And, and whether they like to admit it or not, and Activision does a much better job of this than Blizzard does, is they understand the importance of people enjoying their game and watching it, especially if they go free-to-play model. Apex just sponsored a huge tournament, thousands of dollars, because they understand that their content creators are part of what drives their game. If they go in the free-to-play yep. model, people buying skins, people talking about the game to people enjoying the game, all that stuff is what matters in driving this game to be successful. So talking about all these new players coming in, if all these new players come in and they're like, yeah, it's all right. And there's no one really to say this game was great. Uh, I don't know. Like it's, that's a, that's a huge gamble at that point. And there's no guarantee. Like it'll even last. If they don't, if they don't change their whole, if they, if they do go the free to play model, cause like you said, you said they don't, they don't like to deal with content creators, but, but all those free to play games is the part of how they survived is doing that, you know? Yeah. Again, if, if I had control over Blizzard, thank God I don't, but if I had control, I would be right there with you. It'd be like, yeah, get the content creators on there, get the, get the free to play, get the hype on Twitch. Everybody wants to pop and play this game. We know that's not the Blizzard way, though. We know that's not how they're going to do it. So yeah, but that's the, the free-to-play model, though. You can't do half the free-to-play model. What do you mean? If they're going to do the free-to-play model, which there's still insinuations that they will, I just don't think they want to do it to I Overwatch Two. I, I mean, like they made the to be honest. Huh? I th I think they don't. I think they're really pushing against it because every time we it comes up, they're always like, "We're gonna do it the Overwatch way. We're gonna find or the Blizzard. Way. We're gonna find the Blizzard way." No, I think I think that's I, I think Activision has said that's enough because uh, look at Warzone's profits. Warzone's profits are uh, fucking this year alone probably three or four times what Overwatch made. Period. Like there, there's no way from a shareholder's perspective, from an owner's perspective, they're like, "Nah, like enough with the bullshit." Like. Like this is the way the future has moved and the way it's kept going, but the the way that market has moved. And I mean, one of Blizzard's ex executives tweeted after BlizzCon that they they were looking to move Overwatch towards that same model. So like, I think yeah, it's coming I mean, with Overwatch Two because why do Overwatch free to play already? There's no content right now. Wait till Overwatch Two and then do it all at once. 
So there's a big launch and there's a reason to play it because it's free. There's all this content. There's all this stuff to get behind. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, again, I think I think we're, we're kind of looking at some other games that are courting content creators, right, actively and kind of incorporating them. Blizzard feels that they'll do it without us. Or we're not without us, incidental. That's how I'd put it. Like, they think we make a good game, the content creators will stay, right? And that's kind of true to some extent. I think I would, I would argue that a better way is to do it the way something like Apex Legends has done, is to actively show the content creators some love. It doesn't cost them much in the big scheme of things, but it brings them a lot. But I think Blizzard are thinking, if we make a good game, the content creators will stay. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, but that's just not how the free-to-play model works. It's never worked like that. Like, I mean, like, hey, they're allowed to try it, obviously, and they've done it before. They've made, you know, industry revolutions before, but uh, currently the current system, that's not how that works. And may, maybe they'll change. Again, it's, who knows what they'll do? Who knows what they'll do? I'm just saying, I think we we are kind of like, we, yeah, we just have to do the best we can do and, and not write anything off. Is all is my POV? Like, we, let's not write anything off, and let's let, let's try and have a a constructive impact on the on the direction of the game. Like you said, you know, we've we've managed to get some things our way recently. You know, we've managed to rail enough about like, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that, and we get it sometimes. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we get lamps stuck with us, and that's kind of how it is. It's compromise, right? It's the nature of compromise. It's like we. We go in, we try it, we give them our feedback, and if if maybe maybe we'll all try and we'll all be like it's garbage, and maybe they'll listen. But we got to try it first. Yeah, if turning around isn't even on the table though, that's you, you kind of kill everyone's motivation. It would be bad. It would be bad. But yeah, I it, know, and table. I don't think it will be on the table unless people make enough of a racket because that's kind of what is why I'm freaking out about it. This is why I'm mad about it. Because unless people care about it, they're just going to move right on through. Just like every other thing in Overwatch where people haven't made a fuss about it, then it happened. And then everyone goes, what the hell? That way that was actually happening. You know, like it just that's just how it's always been. So I'm kind of like I'm kind of on the fence. Just like just just kind of being done with it, you know, because like I've said what I needed to say. And, you know, I know there's there's not going to be any convincing or, or otherwise. And I know that like. You know, it's like the whole idea, like, oh, go in, like, get open mind and stuff like that. And that's fine. Um, obviously, you know, I will give it a shot just like everyone else. But uh, <laughs> the problems with just decisions like this that are such heavy influence decisions, like such drastic changes, then unless turning around is an option, you're being forced into it. And being forced into it is very different than... Um, what is like conceived as like the health like for everybody like what's the best option and uh, that that that's what doesn't sit right with me i i i respect that pov um i don't it's it's hard to really say again i, I i'm very hesitant to just make claims you know like the majority of us are for or against it's hard to really know who like again who's the majority who are we talking about you, me, content creators who all, you know, we're all on Twitter following each other or the guy who doesn't even check the forums, you know, the, the girl who doesn't even, you know, ever watch a content creator. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I, I respect what you're saying that, you know, you, you want to say in the, in, the, in the direction. I think we should have a say in the direction, but I think we only get that say if we're open-minded. We don't get that say if we just like, fuck you, we don't like this at all. Go back, 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 backspace, backspace, backspace. And I think that's reasonable as well. Like if I, if I proposed a change to my Discord server and everybody was like, I don't even want to try it, I'd be like, well, that's a bit disappointing, guys. No, of course. But I mean, you can't, I, I, I mean, I'm looking, I looked, I did a little scrolling while we, we were talking and stuff. And I feel like it's most proportionally just like, you know, like people are either upset or just confused by the most part you know um again i i still say this is bad i i i'm willing to try it obviously i mean like that was never not on the table was trying it but mm -hmm. like but trying it trying it is like 
we ha it's, I know you're not going to be convinced, but trying it does mean trying it open-mindedly. Yeah, trying it open-mindedly is, is, is not the same, though, as um, having any options. Like, if you go in and you're like, okay, I'm going to try to keep an open mind to this, but there's no, it doesn't matter if you have an open mind. You could hate it or love it. It doesn't matter. Shit's going to happen the way it's happening. That's not the same thing. Because, like, if you walk into a, you turn on Overwatch, you boot up Overwatch for the day, and you're like, well, I'm going to have a shit time. That's the same thing as booting up Overwatch and going, well, I'm going to have a great day today. You're still playing Overwatch, right? The only difference yeah. is your mindset. That's it. And, and that has nothing to do with whether or not things are going to change or not. Me go, going in and saying like, you know, am I going to have fun with it versus I'm going to go in and have be miserable with it? I'm still playing it and giving it a shot. It doesn't matter at that point. The only difference is, 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 is the feedback, quote unquote, you would be getting. So like I hear you, yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah, and I hear you too. Like I, I I respect your take. This like I'm not sitting here and being like, well, Flats is just a dumbass. He doesn't even he doesn't even get it. My simple disagreement with, or yeah, the different stance I have with you is that firstly, I don't I think it could be good for the game as we kind of we've gone over over at length what, mm -hmm. like the reasons why I think it could be good. You kind of feel like it, it can't be good. So I think it could be good for the game. And like I said, my POV is if executed well, this is. A better game than Overwatch One is now. So f with that mindset, I'm optimistic. I'm like, well, if they do this right, now we're cooking. You know, like now we're in a real good game. Awesome PVE, PVP that more people want to play. Let's go. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I understand you kind of you're not all that POV. You feel like, nah, this is probably going to be dog shit. And mm -hmm. it, it would be it would be wise for Blizzard to listen to us and and put it on the table like that. We'll go back. If if you guys don't like it, yes, that's one hundred percent. That's number one. That that's literally that's all I can be asked of because obviously they they discuss it. it's a radical radical change, but yes, it's their game. But that doesn't make them gods. They've never always been right, and actually, there's been a lot of times where they've been wrong, very wrong about certain things, even after oh, yeah. playtesting it for multiple multiple weeks months etc like we've heard about it like we've had things that were supposed to be perfect and like literally almost like destroyed us for a year you know like we, we've 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 been down that road many many times and that's my that's where my fear from comes from my fear comes from history and i think that a lot of the arguments again that were made for why it would would work and why it's good with whether q times or tanks are oppressive or etc can all be solved they're all solvable issues, but the problem is that we're, we're, for some reason we've now opted to no longer solve them. We've decided to delete it, and hey, we we asked for Brig to get deleted for like two years, and that never happened. So I'm just kind of like I'm kind of just shocked. And again, I can't I can't be mad at you for looking at the passive incompetence, let's call it, that Overwatch has shown many times. But I also look at the great competence they've shown many times, it, not least in delivering Overwatch as the game to start with. And if, if there's restarting with Overwatch 2, we know, like, Blizzard does not put out a bad game. I can't think of a bad game they put out. So I'm going to have enough faith to be like, if they've, they've spent, what is it now, three, like two years, like that they've already been, that they told us Overwatch 2 was a thing, probably been developing it for longer than that. I think they, I think they can land a hit. It's always possible, but I'm kind of destroying. Uh, now my chat's saying games I've never played any of them, so I don't, I don't fucking know. Hero, hero, okay, Warcraft Reforce is they did Warcraft Three was fucking go. Come on, come on, flats chat. Warcraft Three was go. They fucked up the Reforce. That's not the same thing. Fucking up a reboot like a re HD is not the same thing. Heroes I've never the played Storm, any of these games. Chat. I have no fucking 50. idea what you guys are Heroes of the saying. Storm was a much loved game, but they kind of scuffed its management, which is kind of how it goes. They make a good game, they scuff its management. That's 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 more in Blizzard's line. They make a great game and they scuff it afterwards. So Warcraft scuff 3 Reforged, yes, a disaster. Well, if they're scuffing but, their management, didn't we just lose Jeff? Scuffing its management, I mean, in terms of scuffing how the game is managed, not necessarily the management of the game, if you get me. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, 100%. That, that is, 
That is the way where that's, they make it, they make an amazing, amazing game and let it fall apart. Yes, that's the Blizzard way. But, so what I'm saying is, I think with, because Overwatch Two is a new game and it's like different enough, they're gonna make. I think they're gonna make a hit. And then yeah, but what if we'll Overwatch is Two it. is new? Is the PVE and the PVP is technically it's still a continuation, so it's still falling apart. Sorry, you mean the other way around? You mean Thank PvE you. is new, PvP Super is continuation? Again, Can yeah. I, say that? that's, that's, on that stream, I thought you said it the other way around. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I'm losing my yeah, shit. I think maybe we're both losing our mind. We've been talking for a while. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's certainly a fair perspective. I, I don't, you know, I can see why you see it that way. I don't see it that way. But I, I, I think it's a new enough. I, that's why I'm saying they're approaching it like a new game. They're kind of like re, rethinking it. You know, they're rethinking it from the core up. Which isn't a bad isn't a bad thing, I don't think. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna reuse it one last time. I'm honestly kind of getting tired. The problem with yeah, that, same, same, same. the problem with that is they're building a new game with the same old game. It's the same thing as building a house with the same a bricks of another house. It's still gonna be the same house. It just might look a little different. Like the hero, there's so many heroes in this game that I just thinking off the top of my head that are gonna be so busted. That and like, because like they just it they, it will not you can't do anything about it like there's you'd literally have to rework the hero from the ground up you have brig you have widow you have hanzo you have ash any hero that has like long range hit scan um that can control sight lines where you don't have a shield or b you don't have tanks to pressure where you have to take the peak where you have to take like the, the peak with them like anything like that causes massive 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 issues and, and to the point where even heroes like Brig, if you have Brig Ana, if, if you haven't played high level double bubble right now, Brig Ana is so strong. So basically, the way Brig Ana works is you you bubble your Winston in on Zarya, and then the Winston drops bubble when he gets there. Brig Ana do this: they take two steps back, she whip shots him. If she misses, she hits him once. Once he hits the ground, procs his Inspire, throws the Ana one pack, and then sits there and waits, and then the Winston just gets forced out. And then basically what you're looking for is for picks. You're looking for damage if you could follow up on it. Or you're looking to pressure out their Winston and collapse on him. Because if you can collapse on their Winston when he jumps out and they can't get him like fully healed back up and your team can move in, you can chip them down really, really hard. But looking at this, there that doesn't exist. You have to either get a pick with your DPS or they basically just sit there kind of like AFK. Like, like what do you do? What do you do against that comp? Like, like if you if you play double bubble right now and you took away the Zarya because you don't have it, what? Yeah, but again, that's, what do you got? that's looking at that's looking at this new game at the same lens as the old game. There's going to be a lot of different. So are we changes. reworking not... Brig? Are we reworking Widow? Are we reworking yeah, well, Hanzo? Assuming, presumably, presumably they will have to rework. I mean, they have to surely rework every single hero to some level because the whole game has changed. So. Yeah, I mean, you There's, can't. Do I the just same don't see that happening. Right There's no way every hero you, you, gets all their abilities changed. There's just no fucking way. Not all their abilities. Not every hero needs necessarily all their abilities changed. They need, you know, they're, they're going to look at some stuff. But again, you can't execute in the same way you did now. Like, obviously, we'll have to change how that works. There's not. It's not possible to have a double bubble. But double bubble is a relatively new comp in its in 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 the grand scheme of Overwatch. It wasn't there before. We kind of figured it out. We'll figure out something else. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm pretty sure on stream today they mentioned like taking away like Fruit McCree flashbang and stuff. And he said it's right off, hot off the presses. I'm pretty sure they kind of thought of that idea up, like, cause, cause Super asked, uh, he asked something about like removing CCs, and he's like, we could do that. Yeah, we could end up removing like whip shot and and boop and stuff like that, and like tune those. You know, that kind of almost told me like they hadn't really thought of that. They hadn't really thought about like. You know, if you're if you're removing so much tanks like of the tankage, like, you know, what? How do you readjust CCs? And if you readjust CCs, heroes like like they said, Doom, Ball, Tracer, like those heroes are what gets countered by CCs. So how much do you dial the tune to each way, right? But on top of that too, like that's what scares me the most is it was almost like in the moment where it was like, well, I guess we could do something about it. It's like. CC's CC for watch, you know, has all has always, you know, gotten people upset. Nothing's worse as a tank player than getting flashed, bashed, frozen, hacked, booped, 
whip shotted, slept, and tied on cooldown. Um, but they they addressed all these things though. They said like they acknowledged all these things. Right. No, I, they, I get like, all these things. No, I get that. But the the problem is though is they say that they said that they they could do something about it. But a lot of those things are the cores of those heroes. Flashbang is a big part of McCree. Bash is a big part of Brig. Hack is all of like what Sombra is known for. How are you going to change all of those? Like, there's no way. Because here's the big problem. We're going to circle all the way back around. You played a hero because you enjoyed that hero. It spoke to you, the diversity of it. Whether it was you like playing Zarya or you like to play, in your case, like Winston and Ryan, right? If they take away or they tune to a point where that's no longer a thing of that hero you genuinely enjoyed or that hero you genuinely loved, isn't that taking away from their experience as well? So if I played McCree because I loved McCree and they take away his flashbang, it's like that was a big part of McCree. Or if I play Sombra and they completely rework her hack so it's nothing like it was and it's like now it doesn't speak to me anymore. Like I don't really enjoy like the way it's played anymore. Is it better for the game? Sure. But you've kind of just uprooted the rug from everyone, not just those couple tank players. Do you kind of see what I mean? Yeah, no, I get you. But I think they've reworked heroes before. So the same could be said there. Like I said, like, Sim, Mercy, Torb. You can make arguments that all these heroes were the way they were supposed like, you know, the, people loved them as they were, so why did you change them? If, like, look at the April Fool's patch. They made a flying Sigma, and people were like, this is hilarious, let's have more of this kind of shit. Yeah, but that would be awful for the think, game, though. I mean, yes, that's an extreme example, and they know it was a joke example. Like, yeah. that one they mentioned, like, as a joke. Mm -hmm. But we like Overwatch for wacky, crazy stuff. Like, people like the wacky, crazy shit. So, okay, they might take Flashbang out, extent. but as long as the heroes... Yeah, right. and yeah. obviously, the more competitive we are, the more we want the wacky, crazy shift to be in control. But generally, you know, the fun of Overwatch is in the crazy abilities. So, But isn't that what PvE is going to be th for? They've even said themselves, like, they can go crazy with PvE, but they want to keep PvP balanced and competitive? Yeah, but you can still... They're trying to, they're trying to find the middle ground again. They want it to be balanced and competitive, but just because you take Flashbang away doesn't necessarily mean you can't give him something that feels fun still but but it, it all circles back to the point you made earlier was that certain heroes speak to certain people of like oh i enjoy this play style or i enjoy the heroes for that this tank change affects more than just those couple tank players it comes all the way back around and it will affect everyone's play styles and everyone's heroes so if you played Overwatch as a, let's say, especially the casual players, if you love to play D.Va, let's say you just love to play D.Va, like you go to fly around in the big mech and have fun. Yeah, but all of a sudden now D.Va has, it doesn't play like that anymore. She's completely different. Now you don't enjoy playing D.Va anymore. Doesn't that take away from that casual player's experience? If actually, if not more than a competitive player's experience? We've had those kind of changes happen again, even in the current game. Like not the whole the roster. You play Reinhardt. Not the whole roster, but we've played. We've seen Reinhardt change in his playstyle very, very radically. How so? It's, 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 he wasn't always the aggressive DPS off off angle clearer that LH Cloud is kind of. Described yeah, but as, but the you know, core of Reinhardt is the same. Absolutely, he just played better. Like the 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 player base can get better at a hero, but his and that's, core and that's hasn't what changed. They're gonna aim for, right? They're gonna aim for that. Like I don't I don't think you can say Flashbang is necessarily core to McCree. The core part is his gun. Flashbang, yes, we've relied on it for a long time, but maybe something else feels more McCree-esque. If we okay, what about Res the... for Mercy? What about Hack for Sombra? What about uh, we've said, we've Reflect said for the or Dash for Genji? We like, we've said for the longest time we didn't like Mercy Res. Like Even Mercy mains are like, actually, I think Mercy Res is not good for a competitive game. I've seen EVA in your chat. I know EVA is a proponent of not having Mercy have res. We removed her from having a mm -hmm. five-man res to give her Valk. Then we gave her multiple res in Valk, then we took that away. We've changed heroes, and they've still people have still kept to, as long as they keep to the core experience, people have still kept to that. Now, again, we might disagree if... Well, but the core experience didn't possible. leave on Mercy there. She still yeah, has res. You, and in, yeah, in, and in, the, in Ryan's case, Ryan's still the same hero. Just they People under, learned how to play him better. Like, like, people, like, if you look at, obviously, like, year one or year two plat play versus plat play nowadays like that plat play looks like low silver now like they just look like they're afk not even nobody's home up in up top you know like the people got better at the game but the core never really changed there's some heroes you could say the core changed like sim kind of changed but 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 sims change honestly was a, with her left click um she went from a, a no aim based hero to 
you know, now you have to have like somewhat like tracking when you have the right click and et cetera. Like she got changed, you know, there was a lot of people that were very upset. A lot of sim players that got very, very upset with sim being changed like that. Right. But if you do that with yeah. every single hero in Overwatch, you're you're talking about those the cat like you said mentioned before that people you know relate to heroes etc. Those casual players that they're trying to 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 relate to really, I feel like are not going to understand why all those changes are going to have to be made because those are the changes that'll have to be made to keep the game balanced competitively, and it's just going to start like a war between them again. Uh, I don't I don't I don't see it that way. I think we've seen. I think it's probably going to be, chances are, if you love a hero and you one-trick that hero, basically, is what we're kind of talking about, or one-tricking or two-tricking, you kind of tend to play it regardless of what happens. Like, all the one-tricks, they play it. They play the hero through thick and thin. Like, they play the hero when it's bad, they play the hero when it's good, they play the hero when it's reworked. They'll probably continue to, if you really relate to the character, you're, you're not so fussed about... We, haven't, we don't have much strength. data you're for just, that, though. We've only had, like, two heroes that ever got fully reworked. Yeah, but we've had heroes go like wildly in and out the meta and power and stuff, right? Yeah, but that's not and the heroes reworked. Like the heroes still do the same things. They just might not do them well in that meta. Yeah, but there's there's a lot of heroes to to pick from and they all kind Ooh. of can can provide you a fun experience. Ooh. What you mean? What do you mean by pick from ex heroes to pick from? I I was we were talking about heroes that that got reworked that you know that someone especially because now we're especially talking about casual players right they like playing the game they like playing certain heroes because those certain heroes speak to them like they're you know there's a lot of diversity in overwatch you know there's something about those heroes that people enjoy you take those away they're still going to play them i'm asking who like what heroes have had that happen no i'm saying there's still a lot of heroes to play play yeah but, but people don't you just you just made the example of people want if the one tricks want to play their hero you you haven't taken it away from them like you haven't taken away the things that make them want to one trick that hero. Think, I don't think they will take it away from him. I don't think they will. You don't think so? But what about for the competitive balance? If if you need to be re get rid of a bunch of stuns because uh, stuns don't really, you know, need to be there anymore because the tanks aren't as impress as oppressive. What if that's part of what their hero kit is and what you know, like that's part of what made them who they we are. We've made these arguments for the longest time. We've made these arguments like we've said for the longest time. Brig shouldn't operate the way she does because it's obnoxious. Mm -hmm. So why would we change that POV come Overwatch 2? Why would we suddenly be like, no, 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 we should keep obnoxious heroes because people like them. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've, we've, when heroes are obnoxious, we've changed them. For competitive hero balance, correct. Yeah, so I don't see, that it's not like they're going to change them for no reason. The only reason they're changing McCree, for example, taking Flashbang away is because they feel it would make the game healthier because they're taking one tank away. So that's the same, that falls in line with me like to, for me that's the same logic like okay this is a big barrier to the game being fun let's take it away i don't see it as it being any different yeah i mean we're talking about like the the stun in general like what does that repercussion make that reper that has four repercussions down the line like mccree flashbang is what keeps tracer in check keeps doomfist in check what keeps ball in check then you have to go back and work those heroes too like like it's very like and this isn't to usvb this is more towards chat it's very short-sighted to actually sit there and unironically be like that wouldn't change him like, you have no idea what the repercussions that has down the line like are you genu are you genuinely no, I, serious I think, it would have, I think it would have lots of repercussions but i think that's inevitable like if we're going to change the game we're going to have to deal with the repercussions and like because that happens in overwatch with everything like every change we make has like 10, 10 cascading effects somewhere down the line, butterfly effect as we might call it. And I think mm -hmm. that will happen. And I think it's fun. It, it's in a way it might be fun to rediscover a whole new world of Overwatch, right? Like we drop Overwatch two and it's like a it's like a brand new fresh game. We discover it again for the first time. We, we get to play all these heroes, try out fun new metas we'd never played before. Why not? Because you ruin what you already had. That's the that's the big fear. Arguably, arguably, of course, that's the fear. yes. That yeah. is the I sympathize with that fear. Yeah, I can see that. I can, yeah, that, that's definitely a possibility. That definitely is. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope it. I hope it won't be. I don't like. I said I don't have. We said earlier I don't have more than you know hope. And the one play test I did a five v five that went well to tell you that I think it could go well. But that is what it is. Mm -hmm. and that is just how it is, my friend. Mm -hmm. I wish I could make you feel more cheerful and optimistic. I'm personally more cheerful and optimistic than you, but we'll see. The proof is in the pudding, I guess. That's true. That's true. I think I still think it's an awful change. Again, open to it, but I just 
it's a very large risk for a possibility of a re of a reward that I don't know. I just I just don't agree with it. Mm, yeah, I respect that. I respect that. That's 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 a fair POV. Like I said, my POV is I think if done right, it will be a better game. Um, so that's that's how I see it. That's why, and I think like I said, there are things to be gained. I'm looking at it from like, oh yeah, if they do this right, there are things to be gained. And you know, again, we might disagree, mm -hmm. but I see it. There's definitely things to be gained, 100%. Like, again, you're not wrong. But it's just like gambling. You gotta, you're going up and you're losing something big for the possibility of something else coming in big, but there's no guarantee. And, then, you know, like, for me, I'm looking at it and that's, that's not a bet I take. Yeah, honestly, it's a huge risk. I'm shocked they took this like this. Like, it is, it is, it feels unblizzard like in many ways. It feels unblizzard like to take such a big step. But, you know, we're always complaining that they don't change stuff enough. So I, I'm kind of like, I applaud them for taking the leap once for once, you know, for like actually just going in there and being like, we think this is good. Let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sucks to not have an opinion on it. Like, you know, not get an ask on it from from the devs and be like, hey, guys, what do you think? But, you know, they don't they don't change stuff up enough sometimes. So I'm down for them to give this a, a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Again, like obviously they they're just fucking going for it, you know. There's a lot of good stuff that, you know, they could they could see. But again, I I don't I don't need to keep saying it over and over. We we they had the same thing happen before where they said they play tested it, tested it a bunch, ready to go. We got it. We broke it immediately and it stayed broke for a year. So, that's yeah. that's my 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 big concern, my big concern more than anything, besides do we have the option to go back, was seeing today, and 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 you, we agree on this. We I know we agree on this. Is we watched a bunch of silver players play. We didn't get to see like how the game would actually look. Um, and, and I think that, in my opinion, there's some fear there that they would have hated to see us break it because if we broke it on stream, that probably would have looked bad. Um, and 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 that's. It, it's kind of like trying to live in a world where everything is fine and dandy and like forcing it to be fine and dandy, but it's not. You get what I mean? It's like, there's like a veil over it. Yeah. And again, I can, the way, the way I see this, I totally see why you see it that way. Mm -hmm. Like I don't see it that way, but I a hundred percent see why you see it that way. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's how I feel like I, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think they did as bad a job as they could have done presenting this to us. Mm -hmm. Like, they they could this this could have been half an hour like this was half an hour's worth of content and one and a half hours worth of stalling and yes manning right like it could have been done so much better like they definitely could have hyped this so so much better but i don't think that takes away from what this could be and remember they have more like they actually have more they didn't even show us they actually have more that they said they would have and we still have something coming from watch one that we don't That's know what cringe. it is which i'm curious about like the fuck i would think Aaron partner would know better Something big has come from Watch One, so I don't know what that is, but yeah, they did mm -hmm. a pretty bad job. They did a pretty bad job of this. No, hundred percent, and that's what that see. That's the kind of stuff it, 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 that snowballs it for me, where it's like Evening if they, if they're that scared of it, there's no way this can be good. Do you get what I mean? I think I don't. I, I don't think I don't think they're scared that we'd break it. I think they're just scared of anyone leaking. Like that's just how they are. They're so no. I, I no. I see your point. Leaks. I see your point there. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think that's why I don't again I think if they have the foresight to like know we'd break it they would have probably made more changes before they let us play it anyways mm -hmm. I, I think this was yeah they honestly were just like or maybe they just wanted to give us the experience of what it will look like for the a absolute average player because this is this is what it will look like in gold obviously we'll get used to stuff more but this is probably what it will look like mm -hmm. so we'll see no I feel that Definitely, definitely disagree on it, but I think we agree that that was this was not the best way to do it. Oh, uh, I, I was molding when watching it. I was like, like I've been. So oh my god, you should have seen! Me, I was like, fucking screaming, dude. Like it's so funny because we've been desperate for content for so long, and then they give us content. And I was like, Together, this is dragging on so hard. Strong. I can't wait for this to Love end. The stream like I'm they really scuffed this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could have been so much better. Take a mm -hmm. But I still think the con the content, Thanks, the dude. substance. Could is is there? I think the substance is there. IMO. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I mean, yeah, the way I see it, then flats. I know I've been taking up a lot of your time. I mean, I've I've been delighted to have this discussion with you. No, I'm glad you came on. Yeah. I at least got a different perspective, which was nice. 
Yeah, no, like no one in my chat was saying. Good. Nobody, no, nobody in my chat disagreed with me like at all. That, that's again, that's the nature of things. Like it's funny because your chat hates me. My chat is all like. I don't know why my chat hates you. Right. My chats loved you every single time. I think it's just they're pissed today. There's also a lot of people here that are not actually in my chat. I've noticed a lot of people mm -hmm. that have said shit like about you, and I wish I could mod it better. To be honest with you, a lot of my mods are busy today. Just a kind of a bad day for it. Ellie knows my my chat's typically very very well behaved. I'm just promise you right now, most of the people, the people that said they didn't like you, I've never seen them in my whole fucking life. Like, if I could I be faster even, with banning, I would have actually banned every single no, fucking no, one of them on the spot. Like, without a doubt. No, don't ban them. No, no, fuck them. Don't I don't even, want don't them even, here. No, no, I don't even like, want them here. Listen, listen. Dude, you know, I yeah, ban, I, I, I ban I, people for fucking saying Samito shit every day. Like, every time I get against Samito, I go, you have to say fucking Samito on your team. Yeah. You know what? Okay. This must be a DPS death. I hate that guy. I just, boom. I just fucking one tap. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out. Like, it's, I don't want you in my community. Like, they're absolutely, that's literally the last thing I want here. Fuck that shit. Like, dude, I, I, I hate when people fucking say shit about all my friends. Like, it's so yeah, fucking no, annoying. Dude. Yeah, I mean, people are always telling me, like, this, that, the other, but I'm, it's, yeah. But honestly, like, I appreciate you, dude. You know, you great dude. Like, also, thank you for letting me get heated and, like, have fun with this, because this was a lot of fun. I'm glad, dude. That's that's what it was here for. Like, honestly, I just think, like, this is why I wanted to chat to you, because, mm -hmm. you know, we could sit, I could sit and talk to my chat all day about how I think this is good, and you could sit to chat and chat to your chat all day and how this mm -hmm. is bad. But again, that's, like, that's mm -hmm. an echo chamber, right? Then it's like, everybody goes away being like, oh, who's dare. taking like, the win? I feel Listen, the I sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to say it for chat. Oh, there is no winning or losing. Like, like, I want to win my argument because I that's just who I am. Like, I want to win and prove it right. But either way, there is no winning, period. Because this is, we got we got shown information today. We got shown what is coming. I say that I don't like it. I want to have the ability to go back if it sucks ass. SUV is much more open and wants, to, and wants us all to try it with an open mind and be like, hey, they've been working on this. Let's give them, a, let's give it a shot. That's where we're at. There is no winning or losing. The only way we win is yeah. if everybody wins together. Fucking period. That's it. I'm allowed to say this shit's fucking stupid and I hate it. But he's also welcome to say, no, this is amazing. Give it a fucking chance. We're both allowed to do that. And that's the great thing about content creation. Absolutely. We're not some corporate bullshit. We can sit here and fucking go at it. And at the end, I still love him. He's awesome. And I wish I got to do more shit yeah. with him. I always that too, man. We definitely got to link up and, you know, we're going to do the 5v5 to... shit. We're going to figure it out. Yeah, we should. We should. I'll show you my window. Oh, man, I want to see it. I, I've seen your DPS. It's actually real good. It's, it's real oh, good. But what, another thing I want to say is, like, I know a lot of your chat felt I was shills and I felt I was shilling. And I, 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 I genuinely don't know like, half the people that said it. And I should have been faster know, with banning no, but, it, but no, this is the thing. No, it was no, no, too no, fast no, don't, for me. Don't, don't. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm telling you. I totally get it, guys. If I was you and I didn't know who I was, I'd probably be like, this guy's a fucking shill. Sadly, if you if you watch my content, you know that I've kind of gone off on the devs enough that Flats knows this. I've gone off on the devs in the corner creator oh, yeah. discord and burned some bridges. Oh, 100 so, percent. I've watched I'm, you fucking light some shit on fire and it's great. Yeah, so I don't I don't I'm not arbitrarily agreeing with Blizzard. Like, you know, I can understand the cynical POV of like, oh, he's shilling because he's, you know, he's got some, uh, you know, skin in the game. Mm -hmm. I genuinely think this could be great. And I want, like, again, I agree with Flats. Like, Flats is super right when he says we all win together. Like, I think a lot of people see, for example, content creators as, like, at odds. Like, oh, if, if X, Y, Z is getting, like, a pop in, then I can't be popping. Or, like, if, if you know, we're, we're, we're team Flats or we're team J3, we're team J Samito. Yeah. Like, we're a community. Dude. We win together. Like, if, if Flats pops, we all pop. Do you know what I mean? Like, if people are watching Flats, that's good for Overwatch. It pops. Mm -hmm. like if Flats makes... The great Ryan content he makes, that means more people play Ryan, and we all win because there's more people playing Ryan in the game, and then there's more people who come to mm -hmm. my channel as well, and they're like, "Oh, let's get some, let's get some of SCB's POV as well." Yep. So we win together. So this whole like, yeah, that's why I like talking to people, even, and I deliberately want to talk to people who don't have the same POV as me, because I could, like I said, I could just read my chat all day, but of then it's course. like, well, we never develop, we never develop, we never get like a different take. Mm -hmm. So like I'm I really like I again I really respect your take a hundred percent. Don't mm -hmm. blame anyone who feels exactly like you do. I don't blame yeah, of them course. at all. Of course. Same for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, like there's a lot of of of, of positive po possible positive sides. And like I said, like nothing could be better than when if if, if Overwatch becomes a two hundred K Andy game, that dude, there's nobody losing. Nobody loses at that point. Like and and, and I mean two hundred K average game, like that doesn't have to mean like XQC's on, Tim the Tapman came back, Moon Moon's playing. Like, that doesn't have to be that. Like, 
like if it's like like pretty like consistently a high average game even if all those big streamers come in and play that trickles down to the rest of us at some point because if they enjoy, enjoy Overwatch and they're not on, those people go into other streamers. That's good for me. That's good for him. That's good for Overwatch. That's good for Twitch. That's good for everybody. There is no world where we don't want this to do good. We just disagree on which way is the yeah. best way. We all want to go forward. That's it. Like, there's nothing else. To t like, like there there is no hate. There is no, you know, like, oh, shit. Like, fuck. Like, this is, this is awful. Like, no, like, there's just like we want to go this way they want to go that way but both of us are trying to go up here to the top does that make sense yeah and like we're allowed like we're allowed to mold that's i think that's the most important thing like you are allowed to mold mm -hmm. and love a game and you're allowed to also be optimistic and not mold Thanks. and love the game like molding is very key theory, and i've molded many a, a time mm -hmm. to the devs about the devs i've, mo I've, I've seen some goodies i've know. seen some goodies out of you yeah, I've molded. I've molded with like. I remember Jay Nash was in my chat one time when we were mold. I think when we were. Oh my god, the you know, podcast! We the, oh my god, dude. Yeah, we were doing the we dude, Jay we hundred percent got blacklisted right there on the spot. And we were molding. God, that's what I'm telling you. We were we were flaming the devs while a dev team guy was in the chat. Oh, and then they so asked. Like, they asked to keep it. They were like, "Hey, can we get a copy?" I was like, "Fuck." And they <laughs> in the Discord to say, "Can we have this? We're all gonna watch this." They know we fucking molded at them. Yep. They know we fucking flamed them mm -hmm. openly and called them incompetent. But that's part of a community. You need that. Otherwise, you just have a bunch of yes men being mm -hmm. like, keep doing what you're doing, bro. It's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The only people, to be fair, the only people I don't respect are the people who are not actually genuinely invested in the game. Because there's some people who like just like want the game to fail. Some people just want to like, watch the world burn. Fail. That's it. Yes. And those are the people I don't respect because I'm like, well, you don't actually care about this game. So mm -hmm. why should I respect your opinion? Mm -hmm. But if, if someone like I respect what Flat's saying, because he's not saying this because he wants the game to die. It's the opposite. He thinks this might get the game to die. Mm -hmm. So that's why he wants to stop it. Mm -hmm. So nobody, nobody here wants is. bad for it. Nobody in no. all the creators are in chat. All of them want the best for the game because all of us know, like I said on, on SVB's podcast, there's four groups of us. Overwatch League, the community, content creators. Wait, what was the fourth one? Content creators, Overwatch League, yes. community, and the devs, and, and and Blizzard. If they all do well, if 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 Blizzard's selling games or making a lot of money off of free to play, Overwatch League's got more viewers because more people are playing the game. We've got more viewers because more people are watching the game because they play the game. And the community's got a larger player base, more people to to meet, more people to play with. You don't have to worry if you don't like bumping into certain people, then you don't have to bump into them that often because it's a larger player base and smaller, que lower queue times. Everybody wins. There's no reason for any of us want win. the failure of this game. No, exactly. Like, and even like I want to I want to shout out Samito here because people think Samito wants the game to fail. No, he does. He's, Sam he's cares more than most people. Hardest. Sam might be yes. the most caring person in this game I've ever seen. Honestly, he cares so much, man. And and again, what people don't see is him in the Contracted Discord praising the devs all the time for when they do good shit. So, like, people see someone... Like, again, there's a distinction. There are some people who are genuinely, like, looking for the game to fail, but Sam's not one of them. Like, mm -hmm. and mo I think, I think to be honest, anyone left right now, content creating Overwatch, is not one of those people oh, who 100%. doesn't care about the game. Like, nobody would fucking stay for five years... And like three years of like neglect if they didn't care about the future of the game. Mm -hmm. So like any content creator left is all invested in the game getting better. So even if we mold, even if we yell at the devs or whatever, or, you know, we're screaming at the screen when they've got a bunch of silver players showing off their brand new toys, we all still want the game to do well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I don't That's the is. truth. That's the truth. It is what it is. Oh, buggers and mask kits. Isn't, yeah, dude, you play Winston. This, everybody fucking knew that shit. Yeah. You ain't telling nobody nothing new. Booger, you stayed in Arisa jail for like two years straight and you didn't quit. So Willingly. That's, that's fucking... Oof. Yeah. If that's not a mask kit, I don't know what is. Oh, and shit. he goes for like 24-hour streams where he locks Winston all day long and like just... Yeah, I think I played, know, I played Arisa for one season and I was like, nah, I'm done with this. Same, same. I was like, I would rather force off Meta Ryan and get flamed then continue to play the horse. That's when I started my stream, my streaming career. I got flamed every single day. It was great. But I was also popping off. I was like, I had like four, 4.4 4 plus accounts at the time. And every single time I would hop on a new one, start climbing it. I just got flamed hardcore. It was great.
Yeah. I actually preferred playing Ryan when he was off meta, to be honest. It's small, like... It's kind of more fun sometimes when making it work when it mm -hmm. shouldn't. It was also Old Shatter. Old Shatter. Oh, felt so good. That's true. That's true. I also like... It was like a, something something satisfying about beating Double Shield with Ryan. Mm -hmm. it, it was something satisfying about it. But it was it was pretty... It's pretty pretty toxic. It's pretty hard. Mm -hmm. I feel that. But yeah, man, give me your give me your concluding take. I've taken your time a lot, so I I'm conscious. So my of that. concluding Probably. thoughts. Yes, give me your concluding thoughts. Um, they should have softened this and let us know ahead of time, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, like, you know, we're like at BlizzCon, Agreed. at BlizzCon, like teased it. Like they should have teased, like, hey. We're making this major competitive change. Like, like some, maybe something like, um, like not totally like told us a tank, but like, like, like something to tell us like, Hey, something's coming. Like, cause the only thing we got was that article that, that Aaron put out, you know, when Jeff got, uh, retired or where, like when he left something to kind of like soften the blow one, that that's my yeah. thing that should have happened Two, I'm still against it. I haven't changed. I'm still against it. But um, I'm at least willing to give it a shot and be like, hey, you know, we'll see how it goes. I think there needs to be major rebalancing changes, major. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that should be ready for a beta. I think that it looked like from when I watched here, it looked like the balance changes were on live were the um, or sorry, not live. The last patch were actually the same pages uh, changes from here because I saw Ryan had 550 HP. And it looked like, uh, like damage number wise, like when we were watching like certain people, it did like relatively the same amount of damage when they were shooting. You know, I, I don't know for sure, but I'm just saying like averages. Yeah. I would think that for a beta, they need to have like an estimated like, hey, we're going to roll into Overwatch 2 with like or roll into beta with this is our damage changes, right? Something to try to like soften the blow and make the game feel good. Um, yeah. That way, when we do try it and it doesn't, you know, it's not the same game we just witnessed. But on top of that, too, like, let's say Hanzo does a little bit less damage or like Widow's one shot is only now 250 damage instead of 300. And it 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 like the charge up time has changed or something like, you know, what I mean, because like now there's less tanks, there's less there's more open yeah. range, stuff like that, like like little changes, like stuff they plan on trying something to to say, hey, we know that this is a major change that needs major changes around it, even if they're not yeah. perfect, like let's say we roll in. Widow's got changes. Kree loses his flashbang. Um, uh, Doom punch is extended. Tracers blinks like a half a second longer. Uh, Winston went from 700 to 800 bubble. Um, Ryan got 40% steadfast. You know what I mean? Like just like a bunch of changes and then yeah. just sent it. Like it was like, go for it. See what happens. And we'll break yeah. it within a week. 100%. We'd figure out what's broken. Yeah. But at 100%. least we'd be like, hey, we rolled into this and they had a bunch of new shit to try. We And if you just see these numbers, see what happens. And then, like, that's a beta. One or two updates in the beta, like, oh, like they made all these numbers changes. Like, oh, wow, the game feels way different. Still broken, but way different, right? Yeah. If I can sit there, and I'm sure other players too, you can sit there and be like, hey, this doesn't feel as good, but I can see where it's going. You give yeah. a lot of people a lot of hope. But yes. on the other end, if we go yes. through this beta and it's ass and yes. like there is just like it's just falling apart. I hope there's at least the possibility of going, hey, maybe we shelf this for a little while and, and go back 100%. to something that's more comfortable for the community and comfortable for developers and whatever else. At least have it be there as a last resort and have like when you're like we're ready to test it or try it. Be like, hey, we did this stuff to prep you for it. If that stuff is there, that's all I could ask for. 100%, buddy. I think those are all entirely reasonable demands. I think, honestly, they scuffed this so bad, man. Yeah, this was, I can't yeah. believe how bad they scuffed this. I cannot believe how bad they scuffed this. Like, you would think they would want a huge PR win after Jeff leaves. Mm -hmm. And then they pull this shit out. Like, I'm unbelievably disappointed you doing a forum stream this. tomorrow or uh maybe not tomorrow maybe like uh the ama day the the, yeah, the reddit ama yeah, yeah yeah i i kind of i want to i kind of want to see what happens i want to see like 
just for my own content rise. I want to see if like everyone's going nuts. <laughs> I yeah, I'm I, I'm actually curious because I feel like the content creators they got they kind of put them in a tough spot where they couldn't really probe them properly. I feel like yep. there were so many more questions that could be asked, mm -hmm. and I feel like Super tried a little bit where he was trying to ask some questions that they didn't necessarily weren't ready for. Right. We need more of that. We need to kind of probe them a little bit and be like, well, what are you, what are you thinking? Like, do you, like, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Because again, yeah, I think 100%, they need to give this to us or forget us as content creators, you know, because people, whenever I say like, oh, give it to content creators, people think you're biased because you're a content creator just doing it for yourself. No, like, give it to like more, more than us if you want. Give it to open beta, mm -hmm. but give it to people and give it to good people, please. I, I respect that, you know, okay, yeah, you, people in, in silver have, a, have an opinion. But you need to see this in the hands of players who can break it and exploit mm -hmm. the most exploitable thing so that we figure out what needs to be balanced, right? We need that. Absolutely need it. So I want to see that. I want to see the beta. And yeah, I want to see an open channel of communication. They said that they're going to be more open with us. So I mm -hmm. want to see them be more open with us. And I want to see them be like, hey, what did you think? And when we're like, yes, or when we're like, uh-uh, no way, mm -hmm. then, you know, they should respect it. Mm-hmm, 100%. And listen, yeah, I think I think really listen, really listen, because they like, it's almost like having a having a gold mine and never using it. You know, we've played the game for collectively millions of hours, like yep. all all of us. So why why wouldn't you listen to us? Like at mm -hmm. least at least the contractors, you might like okay, forums can be Pepega and contractors can be Pepega. Yep. But at least collectively listen to some of our takes, because you're gonna need the help when you balance so many things. Right. Hundred percent. Because playtests can only do so uh, much. Yeah, and especially, if, no offense. No, again, I don't, this is not personal to any of these people who played, but if these are the play tests, then of course they, they, they've not scratched the surface yeah. of what they need to change. Yeah, I think from what I'm my impression, I think it was just the developer team. I think it was just a developer team yes. playing. So like, I think so too. It was, this wasn't like their play test team. Like this was literally just like for funsies type of thing. But like at the same time, like, you know what I mean? Yes, you still, I think you want to see yeah, you want to see people who are like GM top 500 really break this. You want to see owl players really break this. Mm -hmm. And then we go from there. I mean, owl players break everything. So it's not inherently indicative that it's like unworkable. But at least if there's like stuff that's really obnoxious, like we anticipate hitscan will be, then we need to tone it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so it was what I'm similar does. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Because okay. like, we didn't see Widow nearly get in, break enough, break this game enough, you know? Like... Shit, we should have. I should have seen a kill feed light up at one point. <laughs> yeah, she got a couple. She got like a two k at some point. So fair play to her. But mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Like we need to see. We need to see more. Basically, yep. to summarize it, more, more. Please give us the game. I, I I don't know why they they should just be like they should have been high. Like if I was if they wanted to capitalize on the hype, they would have finished the stream by saying and off you go to play a, a version of this. Mm -hmm. That was the way to do it. IMO. Right. But instead, we kind of got to sit and wait. So we'll see what Aaron has for us. Yep. 100%. 100%. All right, man. It's been an absolute delight. Is there anything else you want to add? <sighs> I want to drink, dude. I haven't drank anything in fucking hours. Dude, I'm so thirsty. I'm actually My dying. My Coke fuck. energy's all gone. It's, I'm literally dying. I know. I need, I'm so thirsty. But it has been a... It has been a yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. It, it, it was like so many times when my throat was like, stop. Mine's my, killing like, me right now. Like, I'm, I actually have a sore throat. Like, it's it's actually hurting. Same, same. So let's let's get some rest, buddy. We'll definitely reconnect. I want your opinion on this uh, patch that we're going to make as well to try and... Mm -hmm. I need your opinion. I need I need you to tell me, like, what you want changed, what you think should be changed, mm -hmm. especially with the 5-5. Five five. So I'm going to hit you up about it. Let's play. Let's mm -hmm. see what we can. What we... No, we, we, we definitely need to have some fun with it. We definitely can go uh, pop off with it. Yeah, that's the key. I think we can have a lot of fun with it. Contra Crazy. Like, we got we to gotta, we gotta do it ourselves. Like, we got we to gotta make it. do it ourselves. Our no shit. All righty. I'm going to let you peace out. It has been. Like, I don't know how many times. You're, you're not streaming, this. are you? I am, but I'm signing off too. So send it okay. someone else's way. All right. Sounds good. All right. Peace, man. All right. See you later. See you. Bye bye. All right. That was fun. That was fun.